I believe we have sound. Holy I, moly, is that sound? I believe we've both got sound immediately as well, which is unusual, I, I know. Um, once again, Streamlabs has slightly changed its layout. Let's just make that bigger. Hello, boys and girls. It's me, Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. If you're watching over on YouTube, I'm sure someone's already complained in the comment section below that I don't cut out my intros. But that involves me re-rendering a three-hour video, so fuck you. Hello, Jay Bender 370 Hello, Tap Warris. Techstar123. Patters is here. Happy 31st. Fuck off, Patters. I'm 21. 21st. 21st. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. What does he fucking know? Thank you, Kin... Kinda underscore Brian. Are you like kind of a Brian, but not a Brian? Is that what that is? Are you like a kinder Brian? Oh, uh, thanks for the resub, Tap Boris. Streamlabs once again is not playing my notifications. I wonder why that is. Let's see if I can reload that. Holy shit, it's a pleasant Kenobi. Patters is rude. He's always rude, that boy. Well, I'd say, I only finished saying hello to everyone because of this. Vephadrow MTG, Rajakai, Techstar, I've already said hello to you. Nick G is just here to hear me insult Ape, which is pretty funny. Hello, Rob. How are you, my friend? I'm very well, thank you, Vince. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. I'm um, technically older, I guess. Although... Technically older. You've been around the, uh, the, the sun once more. Yes, but like I said, I, I don't tend to age. So that's something. I'm trying to fix this fucking events thing that seems to have broken again. I think I actually did a fresh restart of, um, a reinstall of Streamlabs. I think it's got to the point where it's just... Yeah. Right, let's try that again. There we go. So Rami's oh. sub work. Just, just the other ones didn't. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Panzer, pretty impressive beard for being only 21. I know, I know. The joke is actually, I think... Oh, I'm not going to say that click is away some stuff. Happy 21st, Vince. I hope you have a better luck with taxes today than I've been having this week, says Rami. I'm hoping we just played Cloudpost five times in a row. That's my plan. Yeah, because we did not do well last week. No, exactly. <laughs> and Les Paul Seeley says, uh, as a resub as well. Oh, no, sub for the first time. So, a new sub count of one. Hey. You can now drink in the US as tea money. Yes, in oh. every state, right? There's no state that has a higher drinking age than 21? I don't think so. I think I can legally have anal sex with a man in most states now too, as well. So that's nice. Lovely. Cla Cloudpost can be a rougher matchup than you'd think unless you draw all the wastelands. The new Khan is a beating. Uh, so the new uh, Khan, I think, is probably quite good against our equipment on our bars, I agree. Um, I'd still rather play against Cloudpost than Reanimator or like... Yeah, I still think I still think Cloudpost would be a good matchup apart from the Khan problem, I guess. Um, yeah. So what we're playing today, so everyone knows... Is that we are playing uh, Death and Taxes. However, I am going to try out the, the new toy. I was thinking of trying to play Khan, but I just don't think it's very good. I couldn't decide on what I wanted in my cyborg and shit. So we're playing Tomic. Okay. We're playing two copies of Tomic what, in place of one of the Mirror Crusaders and like a flex slot that I had. A, I had a Restoration Angel in for a little while as well. Just checking yep. on the Ancient Tomb. No, okay. Oh man, kind of Mirror Crusader feels. I know, painful. I know. I w watch me just like cry about not being able to kill, fight Gomang Anglers all fucking league. But um, <laughs> well, Tomic is good against Wasteland decks, Loam decks, Lands decks. It makes your lands basically hexproof. They can't be targeted by your opponent's stuff. Um, nor can their cards in graveyards be targeted by their own stuff. And they can't play cards in their graveyards with Ramanite Excavator or Crucible either. So it's very good at combating Loam. It's very good at combating Richard and Port and Wasteland. Um, yeah, it's basically a hoser for those types of decks. I think it's quite narrow. However, it mm -hmm. is a 2-3 fly for 2, so that has got some quite good stats. The thing is, of course, it's not as good as, say, Serral Revenger, which is a 3-3 Vigilant creature for 2. But you can't yep. play Serral Revenger on turn 2. You have to file it in where Tomic can be played on turn 2. So, Well, provided yeah. you've got the lands, because we do have quite a few non-basic lands. It, it, again, exactly. Lands, very, so. good, very good point. So sometimes you won't be playing because he is double white. The other thing as well is that he's a 2-3, which means he can't actually be tutored for by a recruiter, because recruiter cares about toughness. Uh, that said, this builds me on two recruiters when normally I like to play three in paper. Um, so yeah, it, I, I'm not hot on him, but we've got to do at least. I've got to do at least one. As a content creator, I've got to play him at least once, right? I can't just like <laughs> shrug it off and not do it. Um, but I agree with him completely about that. I'm surprised you haven't played. Uh, got new Gideon in there yet? I I just don't understand why anyone would play new Gideon in Legacy Death and Taxes. I I I can't even. I I, I struggle to even list off the reasons you want to play him. <laughs> like Tomic oh, I don't think it's going to be good tough but... threats eventually I guess is the okay, only okay so he's got removal strats onto him eventually but again I guess Legacy you're either going very long or very short well, that's how the games go right they're either quite grindy interactive fests or things end quickly so in all the ending quickly games he just does absolutely fucking nothing he's a three that's... mana creature that you can't recruit a four 
It costs four mana with Thalia. Can't be viled in. Can't be protected with Mother of Runes outside of your turn. Like, he's just clunky as all shit. Like, he allows you to, I guess, attack with a creature and keep it vigilant with an equipment attached to it, I guess? Because having a vigilant creature with a jitter attached to it is pretty good because you get to attack and block with it. Um, True. He's probably, he might be okay in the modern deck where the modern deck is looking for, like, um, like power spikes in versatile, versatile, versatile cards. But mm -hmm. even then, like, I still think green, white, or black, white is better than mono white. And those decks get, have other toys in that slot. Like, green's got the new Vivian, for example, if if you're looking for a plane to walk that like, creates some sort of advantage. I don't know. I just struggle to really figure out what the fuck he, he can do, like, where his applications are. He also exiles, mm -hmm. um, is it colored permanence? Is that, or did it say? Let's look at him. I think it was just permanent. So I guess on the upside, he can deal with, like, I think it's non-land permanent, isn't it? Um. Let's see. I think he can get rid of Marit Lage, but I don't think he can deal with like a Caracas, for example. Oh god. Rest in peace. F in the chat. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. Here he is. Black Blade. Exile target non land permanent. So okay, Blake. upside you can actually exile a Marit Lage. Eventually. Um, but our deck so how exactly, often is exactly. there while well, he's only on four mana. And our deck our life. deck is like notoriously good at dealing Marit Lages anyway, so that's not something I'm looking for. <laughs> On yeah, a, that's on a true. Like, he doesn't body. answer any of the issues that the deck has. Yeah, like he's not—he's not, he's not going to beat a turn one Grizzle Brand, is he? He's not going to—he's not going to be good off Show and Tell. Um, oh God, no! He's not good against Trinian Nemesis. Uh, he can't even attack through a fucking Gurmag. Like, I just don't understand why anyone would play him. And if people can give me reasons, then obviously that opens up a discussion. But I just—I mm -hmm. literally don't think there's any reasons for him. I think he's better in Soldier Stompy. Uh potentially. But again, being a double white creature. Oh, sorry, double white spell in Soldier Stompy that can then mm, be four mana because of Thalia. Yeah, he's clunking the mana base as well because you can't put him in off of um, Prelate. Not Prelate, sorry. Oh. Um, what's his name? Soldier Cap Preeminent Captain. Mm -hmm. Also, you don't want Planeswalkers in Soldier Stompy if you're playing uh, Suppression Field. Good point. Because he makes all your Planeswalkers do, like, like clunky as fuck. Let me just double check on right with this. Suppression Field. Yeah, because X made ability, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, suppression? No. Am I... Is it two Ps? No, there you go. Cam Campo de Suppression. Activated abilities cost two more to play and less than mana ability. So Planeswalkers just tend to suck in that deck for that reason. That's um, so I don't think he's got a home in Legacy unless somehow some sort of like mono white like Gideon tribal deck becomes a thing because we get a Gideon spell in like a commander deck that doesn't, you know, like a Gideon signature spell that doesn't really good. Or perhaps mm -hmm. like um, some sort of mono white planeswalker deck where we have cards that are utilized planeswalkers, for example. Something in the future mm -hmm. could be playable on a certain deck, but I don't think any deck at the moment wants him. That's my yeah, assessment yeah. of the card anyway. What is oh, this so. pile? Says Crostius. It's it's uh, a tier deck, like one of the best decks in the format, Crostius. You're mad <laughs> nutter. Uh, yeah, I do agree. I think that Gideon is worse than Ally in most circumstances as well, because Ally at least can like grind out by making tokens every turn as well. Because that is ever... true. And unlike unlike new Gideon. A Gideon ally, you know, impacts the board immediately, even if it is just making a dude. Whereas New Gideon doesn't do anything. Well, no, New Gideon does give you life link or vigilance, but that's hardly worth it. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, but like after a wrath, you'd want you want ally over regular. Gideon, exactly, and, the, and again, planeswalkers historically pressure like miracles, the deck where you want them because you can make bodies over and over again. Their terminuses have become weaker, but Gideon yeah. doesn't do that. Gideon just gets it's, it's terminus, terminus himself. <laughs> like, you can't even not activate him. Like, he's always activated. So that's he's actually downsiding into Terminus. And also, Ally Zendikar, when you zero him, just... Oh, sorry, when you... Uh, minus, minus four him, you just, just kill them right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really, really good. Hey, Vince, when do you go to Paris? Want to come see the tax man? Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to see the tax man. Um, I'm going to Paris tomorrow. I will fly out tomorrow. Um, happy 21. Thank you, Pablo Moonpieces. Yes, it's my birthday stream, for those of you watching at home. Um, obviously, joined by Rob, as usual, we're playing some DNT. We're going to get jump into our league now. And play right. There is also stream bingo going on with people yes, on the Discord. Yes, you are well. in Discord and you have your bingo cards. Get them ready. I just have to explain to Rob what the fuck it was a second ago. Cause it's... Yeah, because I don't pay attention to what happens in the Discord. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. I don't have any tickets. Fuck. No. I thought I had tickets. Did I spunk them when I was recording this week? Okay, let me just grab some tickets. One sec. Boop, boop, boop. 
just buying some tickets. Have you seen? Uh, without, we're not going to drop spoilers. But are you up to date with Game of Thrones? Uh, no. Ah, okay. I won't mention. If we go, we'll both go break. I won't just talk about it randomly either. Then. <laughs> Have you seen Endgame again? Since we last spoke. Uh, yes. Yes. Cool. I actually quite liked it. A lot more. I liked Endgame a lot more the second time than I liked Infinity War. The second time. Yeah, I think there was more uh, to sort of to get out of Endgame for a second viewing, mm-hmm. whereas Infinity War it was it was awesome, and it was awesome the second time, and it didn't get any more awesome. Yeah, exactly. Time. I think there's a lot of um, dialogue that I'd missed the first time around, and small elements that I'd missed, which in, which were pretty good in Endgame. Also, like it's such a hectic movie once it really gets going, like it's quite good to watch it a second time to catch stuff. And and another things. one like, again without any spoilers, fucking people. Uh, the night. The not what the fuck is that name? The Enigma. Oh, the Enigma Drake. I was like the Enigma Drake. The Enigma Drake <laughs> and Mega Churf. Thank you for the resubs. I totally won't abuse the chat for Bingo Squares. So that's Mega Churf. That's probably one of his best Bingo Squares. Is me reading out his fucking thing then, right? Oh yes. Just yeah. Uh, think twice before you that you uh, you say anything. The chat asks you to say. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm just waiting for these tickets to purchase to go through. Sorry for the uh, not so thrilling content, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I had loads of tickets. And I won Games of Magic this week as well. Was it this week or last week? Fucking hell, time has gone very weirdly lately. Like, it feels it like is. it's been a it long feels... time since we tra- uh, um, streamed. Yes, definitely. It feels, like I, it feels like forever ago since we were in London. Yeah, I know. It's fucking mental. Hello, Confu's 3. I'm your beardy boy of wonder. I don't know how many we've got of bingo. I've kind of just let the let Discord fucking moderate itself for that. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm grabbing tickets. They've got 25. Yeah. And one more. Go on. There we go. Premium ticket purchasing content. <laughs> I am the greatest ticket purchaser in all of stream, street, street, stream, 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 Twitch, all of Twitch. I should have bought twenty-one tickets just to be like, that's my age, bitch. Right, let's okay. win some games of Legacy with some optimal let's... cards in our deck. <laughs> Maybe we'll just play lands four or five times in a row. It'd be great. Yeah, it'd be great. I mean, the lands lands matchup with Death and Taxes is pretty good, isn't it? Already? Yes, yes. It's I think the matchup's already good, so we're just, we're just making it better, which isn't necessarily where we'll be either. Uh, yes, some so. birthday bits from Melinda Phantom saying birthday bits for premium ticket buying content. Woo! Oh, I just had a thought. Tomic block well trades with a flipped um, Delva. Delva, that is true. So is Sarah Avenger, though. True. But you are right, it is quite good at that. Also, it can block like Terramanders when they're not flipped as well, which is something, which Mirren Crusader can't. I guess we want to look at ways that it's better than Mirren Crusader. Although it's in the same slot as Mirren or Sarah Avenger. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be the... The evasion is going to be what makes or breaks it, but, I mean, Crusader has evasion a lot of the yeah. time. So. evasion from removal being the, the best bit. Like, yeah, not being able to get pushed or abrupt decayed. Okay, yeah. no Eighth of Isle, but we do have... Cannon, <clears throat> Wasteland, Mistress Factory, a Stoneforge, a Plowshares. This hand doesn't get much better without one of these lands being a vile, so... Absolutely. I think this is brilliant. This is actually the, a very the cavern to go deal with miracles. We've got uh, swords to deal with creature decks. Oh, wow. Happy birthday from Edgesus for the donation. Thank you, my friend. Oh. oh. And look, you even spilt the cup of runneth over. It dropped coins <laughs> in there. Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay, I was hoping that was going to be a delve we could play out the fuck out of. This is so. This is, so okay, volcanic island into ponder. This could be many, many things. Any volcanic island deck basics. All the blue decks play ponders. Yep, could be sneaking show. Could it's be most delve. likely yeah, sneaking show delver or some form of control like this control. There's very small chance yep. it's miracles, but I'm gonna hedge that it's delver or show and tell. Yeah, uh, didn't we have that conversation before? Like for, for ages about whether or not miracles was playing the Jeskai variant, and then it turns out. They, we they, convinced ourselves that they weren't. They and always have they a were. single volcanic island of a sideboard shit. They always yeah. have it. Um, so, do we wasteland blow it up and play mum? That is an option, but I think Thali is just too good against both those decks. 
That is fair. So, yeah, there was, like, Play Mom, Wasteland them. There's Play Mom, Keep Plow Up. So, Play Mom, Keep Plow Up is quite good against Delver. But then, so is Thalia. Like, here they got to spend the whole turn killing her if they want to. Um, and then we can go Wasteland, one. Mother of Runes, or Wasteland, Stoneforge, Mystic, Keeping Up Plow. Like, here we see nothing from her. Because, obviously, if we didn't Thalia there and we just kept... we Well, we would have Wasteland them. We're going to Wasteland them next turn with 100%. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, they could have been, like, waiting to do some brainstorming or whatever end of turn okay so i should have probably attacked and played wasteland after combat yeah probably. Uh, i don't know i'm a little bit rusty with dnt i haven't played it too much recently at all i'm gonna waste on them 100 because we've got a fourth land in hand so we're gonna get rid of this volk again yeah. i'm doing this in a weird sequence because they could have floated mana there and then i guess I'll just slam stoneforge mystic I think so. Force, force the issue. Like, Mum is very good if it is Delver. This doesn't play around days either, where Mum would have done. But it resolved anyway. I don't think this Sweet. is Delver. I would feel like they'd have some sort of interaction at this point. I'm going to get Fire and Ice. Yeah. Or better Clock. Vince is seven. What? No, no, I'm not. So if this is show and tell, we want to like draw a Caracas perhaps, or or Wisp to deal with the omniscience for a turn. Um, let's play a mum. Okay, if this is some kind of control, I expect there's going to be a push in our future. Yes, I would expect some sort of interaction somewhere, unless this is show and tell, in which case, no interaction. Okay. No interaction thus far. Mm. Would wasting damage set be better? Yeah, wasting at any point not in the main phase when you want to cast spells is better. My sequencing was a fucking mess that turn. <laughs> Why not use Cavern to play Mum? Just didn't didn't think about it. Just too busy listening to what Wob was saying, looking at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> just just tapping my planes. Also, I guess you can fake out that you got another spell coming, or if they counter it, then you other things that get countered. No, but it's literally just me not thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more than that. This is the first game of Magic I've played in three days as well, I think. I don't play like Magic yeah. at all, which is weird for me. Okay, it's Very not show and tell. It looks like it might be Grixis. Okay, bug control, bug, shadows bug. Grixis, Grixis. Nice two mana brainstorm, nerd. Mm, feels good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What a what an efficient spell. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. You were telling me you weren't able to drink alcohol legally in some countries until now. Yeah, there's some weird places, sure, but, like, the places that matter, like, here, I've been drinking for at least Shooty three pop. years. <laughs> <laughs> two-mana brainstorm is still fucking good. I guess so, Naki. I guess if there's a two-mana brainstorm put in a modern, people would still play it. That is true. Yep. So now we're going to, for the looks of things... We're just going to slam in and... We're going to get to equip a sort of Fire and Ice, because they've only got one mana up, which means they probably can't interact with this Thalia. This feels, nice. like, a, this feels like a very good start against a deck that Day. we're actually meant to be unfavoured against. Keep, they could still daze? No. One and bounce a... They, oh, they can still daze, but they're not dazing, they're not dazing on equip. No, not dazing on this, but yeah, just bear in mind. Okay, now we win. <laughs> I feel like we're in a fucking very good spot, yeah. I mean, they could be like. Ah, oh, punt. Oh, feels so. Yeah, good. but I, because I, if I hadn't played the Mistress Factor, I could have played Wasteland Post Combat and got the Underground Sea, and then we've basically won the game. That is true. That's a punt. That's an important that's punt. The, the, the fuck up so is, far yeah. has been so good. That, that's, that's like a game winning fuck up. A four mana brainstorm that comes with other abilities strapped to it, Confuzz. Come on. A four mana brainstorm is also a win condition and can reuse your own Snapcaster Mages. And uh, negates damage sometimes. It's also a four mana brainstorm where each turn, like Rami said, it's a Cardavage engine, an ongoing Cardavage engine. Mm -hmm. So a K command on our sword would be a bit depressing, as we could have stopped it by sequencing better. Yes. So, I'm not saying this is correct, Re Reparica, but I, I think I had my first drink when I was, like, 13. 
Um, I'm not saying that's correct. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just talking historically about Britain's terrible culture around drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love the the thing I've always loved is the attitude of like you know oh you know give them a glass of wine at home and then they'll be ready for it when they go out inevitably <laughs> go out boozing when they go you know, out and like, like knock back seven and then like exactly. finger bang someone they should not be involved with on the back of Keskins and then vomit in the bin. <laughs> Like, how is that one glass of wine going to get them fucking ready for that shit? Another one. Exactly. (laughs) My first beer was at a Haven holiday camp. I was about (laughs) 11. I think I'd had, like, beer before then. I meant, like, um, I went to a school disco. Literally a school disco. (laughs) (laughs) And my friend Nell's mum had given us all, like, vodka to drink, but she had, like, measured it out to make sure we didn't have too much. And we were, like, 13 or whatever. Bloody it's, hell. It was mad. Absolutely mad. <laughs> but And then that was the only time I drank without my mother knowing. And then after that, I asked my mum's permission. And she just didn't. She was like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get it for you and make sure you don't take too much and stuff. But uh, no. still, like, I wouldn't let my kids do that. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, oh, my mum was pretty cool about it. But I'm like, no fucking way. Would I... If my... If, like... Not many of my friends have kids yet. So Phil come to me. You know Phil, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. If Phil said yeah. to me, oh, Vince, um, my kids are going to th- a 13. They're 13. They're going to a school disco. I might let them take some vodka in a, in a, like a Dr. Pepper bottle, make some Dr. Pepper. I'll be like, Phil, are you fucking insane? <laughs> are you fucking mad? <laughs> so, um, yeah, times change, right? And people also yep. grow older and have different opinions on uh, how things work. Our exactly. opponent is paused for quite a while, mainly because they're in a really shit position. If they have a cake command, they 100% just have to kill the sort of final to buy themselves a turn. Um, so I think we're going to see a cake command here. here or they might make a Gurmag, but that doesn't do anything. They just die of that as well. But they are dead on board. Yeah. Okay, no red source. Dark Witch. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Is this Storm? Storm? It's Storm. Oh god, that wasteland would have been a lot better if they go off through this. What the fuck? If they go off through this, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus. Or is this going to be the old stay alive tendrils? Oh, well, Storm Counts currently. Well, they, just, they just tutored for a, a Cabal ritual to go ritual again. Thanks for the resub. 14 months in a row from Onset Nonsense. What the hell is this hand? The hand was just rituals and only rituals. Uh, that's lethal. They had they had exactly lethal. Why I don't understand why they paused for so long. <laughs> because it was very simple maths, right? How the fuck? <laughs> that was obscene. They had like That's nearing insane. on the perfect hand. What turn is this? Turn five. They've cast yeah. two cantrips. So Panzer said. No, oh come on, Panzer! Two cantrips to Athalia. They got wastelanded, and their hand was ritual, 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 cabal, ritual, tutor, cabal, ritual. That was the hand. Uh, no, because when they cast the uh, the the storm spell, they get a storm of kind of nine plus the Another original one. is ten copies. Yep. And then we die. <laughs> uh, no, we plowshares one of our creatures. Oh, okay. Ah. So they have realised we can plowshare as one of our creatures and they want to try and ensure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Surely! Okay, that's that's smart, but I, I would hasten to think that perhaps, I don't know, there's an argument for them just, okay, let's see what they get, let's see what they get. Ponder, okay, Juress, okay, Infernal yeah. Tutor. This this oh, one land is going to bite us in the arse. Oh, they're dead. Okay, they should have gone for the tendrils and hope we didn't have plow. Or hope we didn't even yeah. know to plow. Because we could have plowed this for one life or this for four life. Yeah, and then just still killed them. Okay, yep. so the hand was almost legitimately fucking nuts, and we still got lucky. Phew. Go for I love ad nauseum in Legacy. It's so much more fun to play against because you're like, are you gonna no. die? Whereas in Modern, you never die. Rami, they had a storm count of eight. They cast tendrils. They get some storm count of nine. The storm count triggers and resolves. They get nine copies plus the tenth one. They do twenty damage. Am I am I misremembering how storm works here? Yeah, you only need nine because you have the original plus nine copies. That's the thing. They would have had nine copies plus. No, you just talk out of ten, right? No, I'm right. You don't need. You need nine copies plus the original. It's yeah. easy to get these things confused, though. 
Absolutely. I had a long, long conversation with a guy in playing... Um... Wait, Tendrils doesn't add to the Stormcast as Mega Chev? What? No, of course it no, does. No, it... Or doesn't it? No, because each spell, each spell cast before it, but it itself... Oh, it doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. Because that makes sense, because when you Grape Shot, if you Grape Shot on its own, you don't get two damage, you get one. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Read the card, kids. Oh, no, Pat is saying I'm Storm right. Of... Storm of Nine... Let's get it up on screen. Uh, and just read the Storm description. That, that will solve This is why all... we don't play Storm. This is why they, uh, this I can't remember how it took so long. They were reading Storm. When you cast a spell, copy it for each spell cast before it this turn. Yes, yeah, so right. this doesn't have the Storm count then, right? No. Yeah, if you cast the four mana tendrils, you don't get... Yeah, if you cast tendrils for four Pat, mana... Pat is just now going back with himself going, I wasn't paying attention. No, so... Who said it? Was it Rami? Rami is right. Another one. The storm spell itself doesn't add to the storm count. Which really, now that I think about it, like I've cast storm spells with no storm counts before, like in a pinch, like you don't get um, a storm off the spell itself. Like it's not. A thing. Yeah, exactly. That's Empty the warrant. Cast straight up will only give you two goblins. They fetch badly though. But, but yeah, they didn't fetch another red source, which is weird. Because if they wanted to piff all that shit back. Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, okay, so how are we fighting storm? Uh, not by running out of boarding time so we're gonna go for graveyard hate and uh multi-spell hate and um, we're gonna trim like all our plowshares probably two of our mothers let me think that through for a second mum's pretty good at protecting our combo hate and they might have like a practice and stuff at the side so we probably want to trim like gta is good against the the end of the warning line as well though palace chair is pretty shit yeah pretty if we shit. get to the stage of palace chair is tomic's stuff. pretty shit <laughs> i think that's right I think that's right. Yeah. Actually, I think my mom's up for the sideboard hate stuff instead. Yeah. Uh, ideally, what we want to have as well is a uh, hand. Uh, what matchups are you boarding Ballista out? Some combo matchups. Um, I think I'd rather board out these than Ballista here. Ballista's still good against the Empty Warrens line. The Ballista's not very good against Show and Tell, for example. Or any, like, or the, any combat that's faster than that, which is most combos. Um, there's another thing as well where you kind of want to hand without planes so they can't massacre you. Um, so sometimes you'll have like, a Caracas in play and a Cavern in play and like a Wasteland or Richard Port, whatever, and they can't massacre you. Um, Disenchant isn't awful because of the LEDs before. I, I agree. Um, I've played it in the past. I was also running out of time there. It also depends upon how much we want to cut. Probably cut in the second time, it was pretty good. Needle naming Delta. Oh, the cyborg's a bit different to what last time we played. I'm playing a Sorcerer's Spyglass and a Needle. As concession to all the fucking planes walkers that we're going to see, supposedly. That is a good call. Because... Oh, Dave Mulder 6, we're keeping this. Uh, it's a very We've got a slow hand in terms of pressure, but we also have Wastelands and Surgical. And a Vision Import, so I think I keep this. Yeah, I think so. Like, it's not ideal. We kind of want to just rip a Thalia. Yeah, because we, yeah, we need more ways to be disruptive, but the Wastelands will get us there. Or do we want to go port Ether Vial? So the question now is whether we turn one wasteland or port into the vial. That is literally the question. I'm not a big fan of Cateria Priest full stop, Rami. I think it doesn't. it's not good enough in enough matchups to be... Uh, 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 oh, I played it in paper at Liverpool, and I signed it in here and there. I play it now and again. I just don't think it's good enough. What a draw. Yeah, possibly the worst draw for us. Uh, turn Ooh. one wasteland. I think I'm going to wasteland them. Yeah. But then we're not applying any pressure for a very long... Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's the trouble, because they'll get there eventually. Well, what we do is we waste on them here, then we play port, and they think they're safe. And then we waste on them again. That's true. That's the, the other plan. thing is, doing this also puts pressure on their brainstorms, so they have to go for lands and combo pieces. Yeah. Uh, what do so... they do with the ponder is a good point. Two cards on top, and then they shuffled one away there. So they've got a basic island there. How about intention you'll play some more imaginary band anytime in the near future? Uh, yes, very likely. Like, I need to play some more uh, period two features in general. Okay, let's go. We should import Aether Vial. And then hopefully. Yeah, I think, I think like, I prefer Surgicals against Reanimator than Priest. Uh, I think Priest is pretty bad against Show and Tell nowadays that they play Omniscience. Uh, in the mirror, it's okay. Yeah, the other thing is in game two, presume you've won game one, like they can, uh, you can re respond to, you know, turn one grizzle brands or whatever with surgical. You can't with priests. So. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's, it is, it it's weird. For a two drop, it's so fucking slow. Like, yeah, so exactly. Slow. Although yeah, I think it would be quite good in 
in modern. I was reading a oh, I think a, so too. post 100%. article today about cards to be in Modern Horizons. I thought that's probably a shoe in actually. I one hundred percent want to see it in Modern Horizons. I think it'd be great. I think it will show up. I'm re- like I'm not convinced. I want Wasteland, but I don't think it will show up because I don't think they'll, mm. they'll risk it. But containment priest, I just imagine will, will show up. There's just no reason not to. Yeah. Um, let's tap some lands every turn now for the rest of time. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird that a two drop is too slow, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay. They probably just drew that then, or they're going off one of the two. Chain of Vapor, my... Their petal. Oh, they're trying to go off. <laughs> oh, okay, that let's... That's count if I ever saw it. <laughs> I mean, they, they are... And they Oh, and they're sacking a island to hit our vial. Okay. That's cool, I like that. Cancel. No, we don't tend to do that because we can't. Okay. Five, six, seven. Seven cards in the library. So if they go Dark Ritual into Cabal Ritual, we can't even take them off Threshold now. Or can we? Oh, there's two Deltas in the the graveyard. We can. Ooh. Should we do that now? Uh, With it on the stack, yes. Because then they only have four mana and they can't. Does it check on resolution or check on casting? It checks on resolution. Okay, so we do it now then. So this means that if they then go Ad Nauseam after this. They can't, because they're going to be one mana short. Unless they have another ritual. If they have another ritual, then we're just fucked. So we go Dark Ritual and take it? No, no, no. Because no, they've got... Like, that won't take them off. One, so two, short. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can only do it on Delta. Right. Okay. Let's do it on Delta. Uh, what's chat saying? I feel like we should not we should not do this and wait for the tutor. No, because if they cast Ad Nauseam, we are just going to die. Like, we 100% take them off this, because if they cast Ad Nauseam, they're going to have such a critical mass of stuff. I need not fuck this up and not take out, like, one of the deltas. Right, if they have another... Okay, so we need to take both of these. They've got Empty the Warrens in hand. And a Petal... Uh, oh, fuck, they're just making loads of... They're going to make a lot of gobos. Yes. How do we beat that? So we go Stoneforge, get Battle Skull, and then we should be okay? Another one. Yes. Okay. So that was good if they had that nauseum. They didn't. Yep, but it's okay, because we... At least now we also know what their plan is. Always useful. Right. So they're going to make uh, six. Fourteen goblins. Are we just dead? Uh, Fourteen, two hits. That's dead. Well, no, Stoneforge blocks one next turn. Then we have a battle skull, which gains us four. You won't die for so these goblins. So we take twelve, and then we take twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Then we take 7, go to... If we draw four. a 1-drop, we'll be in a good spot. We just do a live. We didn't draw a 1-drop, so we're going to go Stoneforge, Mystic... Don't forget we have Wisp as well. Kind of. Okay. Yes. Uh, Batasco is the correct thing without a doubt. 100%, yeah. And then we go Aether Vial. Get hit for a lot. We can play Wisp, reset a land, and make a Bat Skull. So we get to block three the turn after this and gain four life. So we're going to get hit for base spring. So our Surgical actually might have fucked this up. Blocks here. Take 13, go to five. And then we're going to draw Mum as well, just to be as the luck sector that we can be. <laughs> Come on. And then even with mum, we'll block four, gain four, nine, take nine, and die. So even with the mum draw, we're dead. <laughs> Without the surgical, okay. we'd survive a turn. <gasps> no, we're still dead. I just said it out loud. Hang on. Let me think yeah. this through. Wait. Um, wait. Don't fuck it up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, because Stoneforce has to tap to make the batter skull. So we still need to block one, two, three things. Take ten, but gain four. So we only take six. So we get a minus one. Ah. <laughs> so so now Panzer can be like, I told you, I told you that the surgical was wrong. Um, but I think the surgical was one hundred percent right considering they had nausea tendrils. Like they had to just not have the one of empty the warrens. There you go, I told you says Panzer. Shut <laughs> up. We played against the more likely line. The more likely uh, line. Um yeah. we can also wisp out a token, but then we can't make a butter skull. So if, if we wisp had... out a token, make a mum, that gives us 
One, oh, two. Oh, Rami's got a point. We knew they could have still cast Ad Nauseam because they had a petal in hand. Uh, so maybe that was incorrect then, actually. That's a very good point. But then at the same time, we are making them use their mana. Um, I don't know. So maybe that was wrong. Um, if we flicker out a goblin and then play a mum... Yeah, that gives us we're one, on two, five. Three, three blockers and one. Two. Oh yeah, we need to gain the life of the bat skull. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. We need the bat skull. Okay, yeah, we did. Maybe they'll attack with too few creatures. Make the bat skull. Make them think about it. Okay, so we get the land back. Yes. I'm pretty sure I've done all the, the math here. But, and we're just dead. <laughs> they tag us with 13 things. If they hadn't vapor snagged the Aether Vile, we would actually be in a better spot. Make a bath skull. And then die. It's where they vapor snag the um, germ. <laughs> That'd be uh, pretty brutal. Hello, Lord Roadrunner. Are they are they paused to do the maths now? We're just making them think <laughs> we've got it and we haven't. Yep. I still think actually trying to take them off mana is a good way of reducing because like Ape saying even without mana floating is six spent for them to win off an ad nauseum. <sighs> Minus one. Damn it. Oh look, it's Toma, everybody. Budget Commander, Toma. Everyone's favourite chav. The favourite deck he's ever hole punched. <laughs> what a fucker. Uh, um I'm surprised you haven't received a similar birthday card. That's true. Where's my fucking birthday card, Toma? Just full of flicker wisp legs. No binary doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. I don't think I want the disenchant, I think I want bodies. I think so. Watch them play hey. three lines I don't want them to turn zero and out turn one and we're like, Well, I wish I had this enchant. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. Right. Actually, no, the only thing that could have made us win their flag is if we didn't surgical. Because then we could have, like, made the battle score survived, attacked them, gained four, and we would have just gone on. The game would have gone on, and with us gaining Another life, way. I think we probably would have won from there. True. Supply against them to take out their fetches and read how to play against them. I think that might be right, actually, to prepare Ape. We can name LED with Frexian Revoker and then watch them petal kill us. This sounds a bit wonky. Yeah. I mean, well, that's it. Mm. Oh yeah, the surgical also made them two extra zombies. Uh, gobble, gobbles. It was no finding guys empty meant yeah. The surgical was one hundred percent incorrect. The question is whether or not it was better um, than uh, if we thought they were on the Norsem line. Yeah. So, what is a better six? Uh, better six than this? Uh, rest in peace, Stalias, either one candidates, like any of our sideboard hate basically. So that kind okay. of that kind of confirms it, right? Let's give it a go. <laughs> That's really bad. Like mum into sort of virus doesn't do anything. There's a chance these are disruptive enough, but they'll just fetch one basic. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Okay, let's hope they don't have cabal therapy. Yep, fingers crossed. I mean it's not bad five as five. No, this is actually a really, really solid five. Like, yeah. It's a really solid five them. without getting cabal therapied. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one time no therapy for Thalia. Or oh, they just randomly named Rip instead, or Surgical. And I'm like, gotcha! Gotcha, bitch. we're not that lucky. <laughs> also, this is a non-planes hand, so it's generally a very good five. Oh! Fuck! It's so close to being like the best possible five. Okay, it. it's fine. They go down to life. We're winning. That's cool. That ad nauseum is now more dangerous to them. Exactly. And now we're going to fucking Richard and port them and attack the mum. Boom. 
Uh, my yes, love boy, me. I play Promo World Magic Cup qualifier. These this art, the foils of these signed by Argyle. Steve Argyle. Yeah, it's Argyle. Yeah. Oh, I just fucking pressed F two to talk about art. Oh, now they have more mana this turn. Oh, come on! It's impossible to fucking not. We're not going to beat Storm with that kind of sloppiness. <laughs> Such a fucking punt. A huge punt. Just literally talking about fucking art. <laughs> what a twat. If we die now as well... Well, I'm going to get a glass of water. They think about killing us, baby. Okay. Will we die? Come on, Rachel. Here it goes. Yeah, we're going to die. <laughs> oh, well. They are indeed dead, but we're making them wait for it. Rob, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. I've had a long day at work, and now I'm done, so I can just chill. So uh, they they never just randomly cast a Cabal Ritual without a threshold if they aren't killing you, right? So correct, yeah. We are yep. dead. Wish I'd fucking ported. I can't fucking believe that. That's so fucking dumb. So angry. That was silly. Uh, Vintus 21. <sighs> if I had Warping Whale for the, for the... Wait, which bit's sorcery? The Tutor? Yes. Going off to the races. Oh, well... That's still pretty good. Uh, it's a lot of dudes. We got pro red eventually. I mean, that wouldn't have happened if I had fucking ported. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, draw, draw Stoneforge Mystic. Come on. Uh... Don't need lands when you've got eight goblins. Watch them have a Brock here next turn. <laughs> oh. Form. Okay, so Mum will protect us. For one turn. The next turn she equips a sort of fire eyes, hits them, kills a goblin each turn, and tries to draw us deeper to her. Let's see some answers. I'm gonna right click. Stone Stone. 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 Tap Mum. I've also played like a lot of arena lately, which is fucking making Modo a pain in the ass. It's funny how it does that. Like it is it always I always feel like, you know, huh. Modo is better because I can play the things I want to play and blah blah blah. And then you just like, really just way more convenient though, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Okay, double mum. So I'm 100% just playing out my hand. There's no reason not to. The question is whether I'm blocking to only take six and kill the goblin, or am I attacking with a sword of fire to kill the goblin anyway? I think we attack because it draws us a card. Yep. Draw Wisp. What does that do? Nothing. So, are we just taking six this turn? The next turn, we can, if we draw White Source, go Wisp. That'd be great. If we don't draw Wisp, then one double Mum Blocks. Do we even need this Wasteland? Probably not. But getting the Green Source is a bit shit. I mean, the next turn, we can yeah, it kills the abrupt, around. The abrupt K line. If we take mm -hmm. up the Green Source. Mm -hmm. Our sword is basically what's keeping us in. Because I very much doubt they're playing an, a basic green source. No, they won't be playing forest. I'm trying to so... think whether or not we need like double two mana next turn to like equip and because now if we draw a white source, we can play wisp, but we can't equip sword. If that makes sense, we can't have a pro red wisp. Right. Um. So that's basically the only line hit there. That's whether we trade our new Mother of Runes for one of these and take five, which takes us to eight, or whether we take six and go to seven. Um, I don't think it matters because the, 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 they might go for a, like a little tendrils. Finish, but I'm trying to figure out the clock. No, no, clock. regardless of tendrils, I'm trying to figure out the clock here. Like, so we don't block one, take six, go to eight. Next turn, block two, take four, go to four, and then we survive on one life. Seven and eight are the same here as what Ape's saying. Okay. 
Eight. It's, it's not even I'm seven not or eight. Win. It's it's six or five, but... <laughs> That doesn't instill with much confidence, Abe, when you're number crunching. <laughs> oh, you mean my actual life total of seven or eight? Okay, okay. White sauce, please. That's pretty good. Da, 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 da. Nice. Right. In goes the fucking mother of runes again. Yep. To battle and victory. Ping. Ping. Turn in the oh. corner. I'm going to go wisp out another one. Masker incoming, yeah, probably. It's only minus two, minus two, though. Our mum will survive on the upside. Okay. Um, I think we've turned the corner a little bit here. Indeed. Still some questions around blocks. Like, does our mum save our wisp, for example? Probably. I think so, because they we, they can still just draw and kill us, can't they? So, Like this. Block, block, trade, mum, keep wisp. Yes. Because then we... Yeah, because then, then they run out of goblins. Because so, we'll yeah, kill one next turn. We'll we're going to equip the sword to the wisp and swing, right? For five in yeah. the air, kill a goblin. Yeah, that leaves them the old mum blocks... Yeah. Yeah. The that wisp. also means and we've got a longer clock, of quicker clock as well. I exactly. think. Like, mum is a better blocker, but we're just killing, I think. People, everyone's saying keep mum, but I, don't, I think we want to kill them with our wisp. Yeah, I think so too, because they're on 11. And we can do Another three, blocker. Four, That's five, pretty good. seven. It's two turn clock. Quick this here. Oh, now the question is do we play the land and port them? Or keep up the blocker? I think we port them. Yeah, well, we're not going down to one goblin. Exactly. How does this hold a sword with all six of its fucking arms, obviously? Yeah, it's got arms to spare. <clears throat> and they're just dead to us next turn if they can't kill us this turn. Okay, got there in the end. Fucking hell. That, 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 that second game was... Even though the second game only lasted like three or four turns, it was super interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, whether I made the mistake on carrying out ad nauseum. Uh, I, I definitely didn't take into account the power in hand. I totally forgot about that. So that was a mistake in that sense. But whether or not the actions were still a mistake. Yeah, I mean, it only became, it only became a, a mistake when we saw the Empty the Warrens. But before then, it seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. It's whether or not I should have thought about the Empty the Warrens. Yes, that's true. I mean, okay, so if you're playing Storm, do you rely more on the Empty the Warrens against D&T? Well, my logic was they're more likely to have Infernal Tutor into a black spell or Ad Nauseam yeah. or this Black Mana, right? But yeah. again, I just blanked on the fact that we'd seen a petal, we'd gone back to hand, and then like it could be a red spell in hand. I just blanked mm -hmm. on any red options. Like I wasn't even considering red options. So. That is true. Yeah, Storm players tend to be uh, degenerates or social maladjusted people, you know? <laughs> like ape, for example. Okay, wow. this hand looks pretty good. This hand looks pretty good. I'm we get to go this. get we get to go get batter skull and then surprise them with the jitte. So it's better when it's the other way around when you get get jitte and then they swing and you surprise them with the batter skull. But whatever. <laughs> so we go planes. Yep. Vile. Yep. Port. Yep. Or we might waste them and just keep our, port, our vial up, depending on what they play. Because mm. sometimes it's just good to take them off mana. Like, if it's a soul land, for example. I hope they don't get a soul land chalice here. A hand is still fine. But, uh... Oh, or Mox Diamond basic land chalice. Ancient Tomb. <laughs> this is lands, boys and girls. Tomic's time to shine. Alright, Tomic. Just, need to go, just gotta draw him. Because we can't shoot for the fucking thing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> come on, Tomic. Out you come. That's not a Tomic, but it is a one drop we can make off our vial, which is nice. Yes. Okay, so they've got an ancient tomb in hand, so wastelanding here doesn't do anything. No. Nope. Plus they've got life from the lame of the graveyard. Exactly. Graveyards. So if we draw a Tomic, our wasteland becomes very good. Yes, it does. Is this match well, a winnable I'm game one? No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, you can tell. Uh, they have they have draws that are obscene, but like yeah. 
I think the reason that D&D has a relatively good lands matchup is because we have such a good way of dealing with Marit Lage. It's the... And also, Wasteland Locks don't really fuck us because we have basic planes and we have Aether Files. Uh, do I have Prelate in the main today? I do indeed. I don't leave the house without at least one Prelate in the main. So you put Prelate on two and they can't loam, they can't punish and fire you. Cool yeah, Wasteland, yeah. buddy. Draw Atomic. Draw Atomic. Come on. One time Tomic. I summon you. I have one main deck crusade in Mono Hell. I normally play two, but I'm cutting them. Oh, come on, Tomic! You <laughs> motherfucker. Okay. Okay. So. What do we want? Mm. What do we want? So they're going to wasteland us regardless of what we do. If they yes. wasteland us, they can just play their ancient tomb and still play their loam. Mm hmm. Do we even play a land? I think so, <laughs> Panzer. Like, we can't not play a land, right? We can play a wasteland and not tap it, and then they won't wasteland us. Because if they wasteland us in response, we wasteland them, and then yeah. they just lose well, two. Maybe, that's, maybe that, that's the way to go. And just rely on Aether Valve for at least this turn and next turn. Yeah, and then we just go, whoop! Ha-ha! Who needs lands when you've got Vars, motherfuckers? Exactly. Right, I'm going to make a mum in their end step. Go on, wasteland me, I dare you. Yeah, I didn't they fucking think so, Sonny Jim. <laughs> they have Mexican put Dark Depths, Exploration, and Grow the Bimbles into the graveyard. Okay. So they are on their way to some... Uh, as, as Rami said, if they play the new Khan out now, somehow that they're playing Khan on lands, you know? That'd be pretty sad. Yeah. I have seen the new Bomb Man decks. I think I played against them on my league with... Um, what did I play Maverick this week? Mum, mum, mum. Yeah. In the end step, I'm doing it in main phase in case they want to take priority back and play a Wrath of God. I know, but you were talking to chat. I right? was indeed. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, tick up, tick up. So do we like Thalia or Stoneforge Mystic? Both. Um, Revoker turns off Mox Diamond as well. Yes, it does. Um, play the Richard and Paul. Play, play the Valia, Revoker. Play Valia and the Revoker. Yeah. Get them. I think that's what we want to be doing. Time to. Shut them I don't down. even know how the Thalia is. I might just be Soulful Mystic and Revoker instead. Because Thalia's not really doing anything. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes, Ramen Lover Ninja. Keep port in hands as patterns. I don't know what that achieves, though. <laughs> Sorry, Zerodam. I'm, yeah, I'm not taking my vial up to seven. Has a family <laughs> song for you today, Vince? Has a family so song for me? It's, it's S-U-N-G, by the way, if, if English is not your first language to help you improve. Otherwise, I'm sure chat will give it a try. No, I haven't had it today. Waste the land and Thala, can they cast the... If we serve a Roker Diamond, waste the land. They have Lysan Grove. In their hand, they have uh, Dark Depths, Ancient Tomb. So, yes, they can still cast the, the Loam. They have two wastelands before your next turn. Yes. But we also want to play two things in one turn, right? Yeah. That said, if we play port next turn, we can actually use this mystic. So there's that. Yeah. Uh, what a shit position to be in. I think if they're going for our lands, we need to get down what we can while we can, and then go from there. But what will happen is we won't be able to activate the stone port next turn. That's the problem. I see. But here as well, we keep Wasteland up for their Dark Depths around me. I don't want to tap this Wasteland and lose it. Gives us a line against Dark Depths. So I'm going to end of turn, make a Revoker. There's, a, there's also a line here where we name uh, Molten Vortex blindly because maybe their Mox Diamond here doesn't do a whole lot. Because they've got an abundance of mana anyway. They've got loads of lands. That's yeah. true. So don't bother wasting much of the loan. They can't do it the slow way. No, no, Pat, my wasteland is not a non-basic waste here. It's a non-basic waste that can destroy their dark depths in response to an activation that they have to deal with before they can get there. So no, it's it's got way more utility in this matchup than that. That's not fair. Thanks, the last year for three months in a row. Hello, the best thing about my day off today. Hello, PhD obnoxious. Yes, exactly. They have to waste our wasteland before they have to jump for more hoops. 
So if they play stage depths here, then they're going to need to wasteland us on end step. And then we need to draw something else to interact with. So they waste your waste, then kill you. Yes, that involves them having to do stuff that they don't want to necessarily have to do. Having our wasteland tapped and wasted does even less than that, right? Like, I don't understand how that's a logic for making me tap it. If only they didn't have a way to occur lands. Yeah, if only we'd got Tomic in play. I, I bet I wouldn't even draw it all fucking league. I missed some bits. Did I miss some bits? Oh, yeah. For, oh, that's Frotal, wasn't it? About the birthday song. Thank you, Frotal. Just checking for any others as well. They gamble then. Maybe. They're thinking long and hard about what line to take. And Talon Wekwo, 21, life, get it, it's a joke. Way, I'm actually on 22 right now. Blast Zone, well, GG. So this is the thing that might actually make this matchup almost impossible now. Is that Blast Zone kills our mums and our vials. Rob, are you dead? Um, I, you, right. you keep going into robot voice. Oh, okay. That's okay, I think, I think we're okay again. I can see you again. Well, we're about to lose anyway. Okay. Because I can wasteland it in response. Can we just roll like a wisp or something? That'd be nice. Coming blast zone. Okay, we're losing our one drops. Which is all of them. Yep. Yeah, that's that's like that might make the matchup very much worse than what it used to be. We're never getting a fire ice to play, are we? That's the thing. No. Uh, but we'll get into play soon on the batter score. Yeah. Yeah, Blossom's so fucking good. I totally forgot about Blossom. Where's our Merit Lage killer? If they don't wasteland us, they'll make Merit and, like, you know. Um. So they're gonna play fucking hello, Dave. Dave has Dave has finally bought scolding tarns. About time, Dave. <laughs> they can't blast on the German pump in the zone to five is slow. I guess so, but I also don't think it does a whole lot here. I'd rather draw cards into other things. Also, lands too. Like we like if we get to connect with sort of fire ice bolter twice, we have chance of playing more lands. Um. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is something sick. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, that blast has fucked us so hard. Okay. Just tap down the thing and let it go. Zerodyne's punting me. Oh, for... Well, we're going to waste on them anyway. Yeah, their draw's been pretty solid against us as well. Like, double... Ah, oh, fuck me. Double Wasteland Blast Zone. But then again, they play four of each. And they've got Lobe as well, which is basically like a Ancestral Visions that fucking tutors them cards as well. Yep. Unfortunate. So actually, to go back to what Ape said earlier, I think actually Game 1 might be quite unwinnable now with Blast Zone. As a, a four of fucking card that blows up your vials. Because before they can yeah. blow up your vials anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Pre-board. Wasteland meta game, yeah. Our prelate would be awful right now because we're never getting to cast it. We're never going to have three mana. Unless we just draw a lot of basic planes, obviously. Why did they get Richard and Paul? Oh, to stop us from being able to stay in Fortress the next time. They're also scared of us connecting with Fire and Ice, even though they can probably just make a Merit Legend and kill us. <laughs> Guess we are on 23. <laughs> we can survive. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. I think we just concede that. That's not worth playing out. Um, yeah. Because we're going to, like, save our Stoneforge, have Revoker die, and then never be able to cast spells again. Okay. Perfect. This is why Port was a likely card in Horizons than Wasteland. I guess so, but that's also on some sort of, like, axis where you believe modern's meant to be fun. 
<laughs> like, is it fun dying to any of the shit that happens in modern? No. So why are it be any less fun dying to Wasteland, right? It's just the same thing. That's um, true. Okay, Sorcerer's Spyglass, Python Needle, and we want Surgicals, and we want Path to Exile, and we want Rest in Peace, and we want the Remorseful Cleric. Yes, we and do. And then we Cataclysm's got... Amon or Arin. So we want to trim a plowshare. Do we want trim a plowshare? Do we want five removal spells from Marrow Age? Trim a plowshares. Mm. Um, Cataclysm has been like sometimes incredible against lands and sometimes terrible. It's just getting to the fucking five mana is the problem. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to cut my Thalias. They ain't so hot. No, not when they've got expiration. Well, yeah, and Thal Ice Landing us, then we can't cast our like fucking our spells. Exactly. And then, do we even want Jitte? Probably not. And then we can trim a stone forge, which gives us a slot. So, do we want some number of Thalias or do we want Cactus? We are on the play, so Thalia is much better. Uh, Revoke on Diamond is just as good, if not better, than Thalia, I guess. Is it? Well, it also um, names Molten Vortex. It lines so up well. Like, Thalia yeah, just straight It also up names Blasts. Enough. No, it doesn't name Blast Zone. These name Blast Zone. Yeah. This doesn't name Blast Zone. So, it only names Molten Vortex and Mox Diamond. Which is less good. So maybe we do want Thalia's over Revokers, because Re Thalia's tax like adds up over more time. So there we go. Yeah, exactly. And it deals with more things in a in a vacuum, you know, rather than having the, the, the correct lineup of the thing you name. Um, you know what? I'm going to play... Am I playing enough basic planes? Cataclysm is only good if we can make the game go along. I'm not convinced we can. On the play, I'm definitely playing Thalia. On the draw, I might change it, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure if cutting the, the, the fourth plowshares is correct either. Um, I guess we want to rely less on our vials because of Blast Zone. QQ. Trimble. Oh, I should trim Ballista, you're right. But Ballista's also a body they can't kill Blast Zone, so there's that. Okay, we've got double planes, so that's a start. And we've got two ways to deal with Marit Lage, plus a Wasteland and a Vile, so this is a keep. Seems okay. Still no Tamic. Tomic. Maybe if it is a Wasteland metagame, then maybe four Tomics is just the way to go for now. <laughs> uh, I didn't even consider about the Blister at all, Megachev, that's why. That's why. Uh, exploration. Okay. Oh, pre-late. Can we get to pre-late? Can we get to pre-late? Nope. So? Alright, let's port them and then get wastelanded. What's wrong with my planes are, Ramen Love and Ninja? What the fuck are you chatting about, friend? <laughs> oh, really? Really? Damn it. Oh, and they've got... Oh, my God, really? Fuck's sake. There's no way. No fucking way. Okay. This is always easy to lose with a cat on it, right? On the upside, we get to play Sanctum Prelate and have them tick their fucking blast zone up. Right. No loam and no punishing fire, but if they just go fucking Morton Vortex, we're fucked. Thank you, Felix... Yeah. Felix... F F F F F Felix Last Life. Happy birthday to you too, my friend. Wasteland my port, I guess? No? No. Okay. okay. If they take out the blast, I'd probably just wasteland it. Yeah. I'd definitely wasteland it now. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. So, get in for two. If. We're winning. We are winning. We can also reset their blast zone with Wisp. <laughs> so they take out the two and try to get the three and take it again, right? Mm. But I guess I play a mum. Um, do we don't lose anything for playing the mum, do we? We can still port and stuff, so... Yeah, we can still port, we not wasteland up. They might just wasteland our port here, to be honest. Uh, putting two counters on, so we sack it now. Yep, boom. Imagine if it just blew up everything when it went to Graveyard. So, like, doing that triggered it. Can you imagine oh, that? Oh, man, that would be, uh... That'd be gross. Well, it would be. Would it be 
better or easier or fairer because I think you it'd be go better down in, like in a format with wastelands yeah. it'd be insane. Yeah, that's true. But it goes down a lot of a lot of lands to go down for the sake of it. Okay. Interesting. This is getting it's looking oh. successful. The question is whether we keep the wasteland up for the next blast zone, that's the thing. I'm literally getting in with the mum as well. Like, they can't punish you for <laughs> us. I'm opening myself up to Molten Vortex or Bust, right? Um, yep. Do I fucking port... Do I wasteland them? Oh, no, 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 no. Wasteland's good against both Blast Zone and if they just randomly play like Thespian Stage plus Dark Depths, right? Yeah. Okay, they they, they've only got one card... Nah, they've only got one land in hand because they only play one land a turn. So I think their hand is just Punishing Fires and or uh, Loams. Which makes sense because that is what you'd keep in your opener if... You're or crop rotations, I guess, as well. Yeah, that's true. That's only one, isn't it? Yeah, it is one, so they can cast crop rotation here. So we need to keep our crackers on wastelands for that sort of thing as well. Yeah. So they crop rotate from Outrage now, because then we just get to crack as the Outrage. So I don't think they can do that. Not that we played Caracas, that might have been their plan. Well, hang on, did they have open mana last turn when we attacked? Because obviously they're just mana yep. to the fucking prelate. So they haven't got them. Or two gambles, someone said. Yeah, so I guess gambling for a loam is pretty bad. Get their tiger. Okay. Go to ten. If I play a wisp, I can attack for seven or eight next turn. Wisp also resets my wasteland. So I think I Wisp. Um, well, Cause it, yeah, because it, it just speeds the clock up, doesn't it? Yeah, it so, speeds it up by a turn. Which is what we wanted to do. And it's not, it doesn't cost us anything. Yeah. This does turn off our plowshares here. Yes, but we've got... We can block a Merit Lage, we can... Yes, yeah, so we can block Mum, Mum put Pro Wisp to Black, plus Caracas, plus Wasteland. So we've got like a lot of ways to deal with a Merit Lage. Mortal yeah. Vortex would be the worst possible card, but then Mum's online now. Tireless Tracker. Well, I guess you're going to gain three life. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to untap. Draw another... Wow, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so as bad as that fucking Croatian Grip into Blast Zone was, we're doing okay. We are. We're fighting the good fight. Okay. Right, and they're still dead in the turn's time. Okay, good, yep. good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I am happy with this. This is tracker number two, because that means they still get another turn. It's a gamble for Molten Vortex? No. Yeah, because I guess if they have two lands in hand, which they don't, because we know they have... Unless they're sandbagging lands for this line. I don't know, that's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of forward thinking. Cause... Like, or they might have had the gamble for a long time, and it getting Molten Vortex was a thing. They might just get like a Pyroclasm here or something. They, they ditched the Tespian Sage and conceded. Okay, cool. Fantastic. So, yeah. That hand turned out to be pretty good. Someone in the chat said they felt like they suck at Legacy because they would have thought it was a hard mole. I guess you don't know how good like a prelate can be and stuff until you've played with it. So, don't be. Yeah. Sure. Why is that Mirror Crystal? Oh, it's the one from my main board. Yep. One more chance to get Tamek. Yeah, Tamek. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, so we're on the draw. So we're slower. So it's whether or not so we need to cut Thali oh, another Thalia yeah. for plowshares. I think we do. Yeah. Yeah. So Plowshares is very good at like dealing with them when they combo us, right? But Thali is very good with just dealing with them in general until they combo us. Like a, a attacks and B it makes them disrupt disrupts them. So True. okay, could cut ballista Mirren Crusade attacks through Tracker. So I know that comes back in. Because we should be thinking post ball, they're putting your four close and grips and they're anywhere between two and four trackers. Um hmm. I just can't get my head around how good Thalia is in this matchup. And I play this matchup a lot, and I'm just blanking on it. Like, I'm trying to think of like popular logic and things I've read, and I can't think of anything. Okay. It's weird. It is odd. It's like I well, played... must be that good. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with it. Okay, let's do it. Cut a Mystic, maybe cut a Mum for a Swords. I think I'd rather cut Mystics or Thalia's over Mums. Oh, Tomic! <laughs> Why aren't you a land? Okay, Mum into Rip, into Tomic. Yes! Okay, 
Here we go. My body is ready. <laughs> Don't... Oh, no exploration. That's good. Okay. They probably have Crocean Grip then. But, like, okay. if they Crocean Grip our Westerpiece and we play Atomic, we're still, like, in the same spot, right? Like, its base just goes a rip. Yep. It's a rip that dies to... So if they uh, cast Loam here, we cast Rip. If they don't cast Loam, we cast Tomic? Is that question mark? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, cause Tomic is a rip that could be protected by Mum. Yes, that is also true. And Tomic attacks and kills him. Oh, Tomic can block a Merit Lage. Well, Tomic is very good in the Lands matchup. <laughs> Crop rotation for a Dark Depths? Or a Tabernacle? No... Question mark. Punishing fire the mum. Okay. They need to so, double. They need to double punishing fire to kill Tomek. So we're gonna rip from this turn. Do we just rip them? Yeah. And then we can go Tomek plus Wasteland next turn, which seems pretty good. That does feel good. Return punishing fire to hand. Of course, that makes sense. Sure. But we're never not having that happen, will we? So. Yeah. Ancient Tomb. That's where they play a tracker and just win off it. Oh, Silver Library! What? Fuck, that's good for, for them. Okay. That doesn't tell looks good. Port me for two damage to your life total. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're never casting Tomic because of the Vision Port. Hmm. Awkward. Well, we play a port and hope they port our port. No, we're going to port their port in the end step. Ah. Then untap and wasteland them off the grove. The thing is, they can find yes. two uh, punishing fires very easily with Silver Library, but they're, dig they're also digging for Crows and Grips. Yes. Port it upkeep, that does make sense, actually. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, rather than end step, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, they have a stop in the draw step. Oh, that, oh. that kills the rest in peace. And it kills Atomic. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. We, well, we can't Atomic until that's gone then. Yep. Oh, Atomic, you suck. Also, we suck because we didn't port them. I did port them just now. <laughs> I guess I can waste it on their Blast Zone this turn. Yeah, Maybe that's a Panzer Zone. Wow, 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 we are. Dump the mana from this into this now. Is that what they do? Croson grip. They had it anyway. Sure. Well, they found it at the Silver Library, right? Okay. Untap. Draw Wasteland. Draw Wasteland. Because we just want to work. Like, play time and just waste all the shit out of them. Fair blowing this up would be good. Because then they don't have any red for the Punishing Fire. True. Ooh -hoo! Okay. That's a, a good card. That is a good card. Sacrifice this. Block Blast Zone. Play Atomic. Because they can't kill this of Punishing Fire unless they draw another. They've got two red sources. So if they have a second Punishing Fire off the library, that's a shame. But I, I guess I'm going to needle... Thespian stage? Blind? Um, I could also need yeah. a blast zone. But he just blew it up, so... I know, but, like, there's three more in the deck, and if Tomic dies to double punishing fire, this one can come back. I Hold think we need needle, Thespian says stage. <sighs> Name Thespian stage. Well, no, hang on, no, we've got two swords in hand. We can deal with a... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Cheesehead RL has got the right thing here. We should have Needle Blast Zone and Wasted Grove. I'm 100% aboard board that. That's the correct line. Ah. Blast Zone can blow up Needle. So, ah, yes. So we have to name Needle. They can they can kill this twice. In, oh, they've got the fucking... Oh, we fucked this up. We fucked this up. So they can go punish... Put the mana. I'll have to spend the mana to get it back. So we need them not to play another red source, basically. Okay. Seth can play all oh. the jank he wants if he can get some quality DNT time with the birthday boy. Happy birthday, Vince. Thanks, Uncle Ferno. They have double red. They have Mox Diamond and Grove. Come on now. They have triple red. 
No, they don't have triple A, not yet, anyway. Okay, let's name Blast Zone then. Man, we should have so, so, so needle Blast Zone and then Waste Out of the Grove. That was so much better. That was a punt, but it's a way to learn. Yep. Does Lance use page team? Yes. So this is a recent change. Apparently in the last six to eight months, people start playing Seven Library in the mail or board to grind, I guess. I don't, I don't know why. It seems weird. Uh, but Ancient Tomb has been like a one of in the, again, sometimes in the sideboard. So you can either have it in the main to allow yourself to crop rotation for it to combo faster if you need two mana for crop rotation as opposed to get one of the combo pieces. Or at the board, it allows you to have a land that can play a chalice or whatever on turn one. So you can go green yep. source, crop rotate, get Ancient Tomb, make two mana, play chalice and one. And chalice and um, one is basically just... Delver basically. Yeah, so it. so they play the well land shits on Delver anyway. So Charles and one isn't that great. So they normally play some number of Charles and spheres. Uh, they normally play sphere. Four, is this is game two or game three. I'm not sure, Panzer. So they normally play four copies of uh, of sphere. Library helps their combo match up a lot by finding their attack pieces. Ah, okay, so it actually speeds up their game plan. Okay. Uh, most decks use from library to go longer. How I like this engagement two and DNT. I it was okay. It's been good in some spots and bad in others. Uh, it's something. quite good for throwing off people's combat. You know, okay, Tomic's about to get double punishing fired because I fucked up. Oh, that's so annoying. It's all my fault. It's literally just no other, no other yep. way to look at it. Okay, and now we just we're just fucked because we can't beat this punishing fire lock. Oh, they had two punishing fires anyway. Okay, that's a good point, Panzer. So it didn't even... Oh, fucking... Why would you start porting them, Vince? Uh, that, there's loads of questions around whether that port was correct as well. Yeah, Lands feels like the roughest matchup in the fucking world now with Blast Zone. That's insane. Yeah, definitely. Just... <laughs> so they put completely like, fucking... relevant, basically completely free board wipe. Yep, so in the last set they printed a card that made everyone think, oh, DNT's got a new toy. But they also printed a four mana planeswalker that fucking uh, no rods your eighth of ours and your equipments. And they also printed a fucking board wipe for lands and or any other deck that can play a free fucking colourless land. Seems pretty absurd, really. Yep. Okay, what can we do? I guess we can play a sort of fire and ice and then equip it before they can punishing fire us. That doesn't seem likely. I don't think we're going to win this. If we could draw into Cataclysm, that'd be great. Hello, Dragon Knight Six. What's going on? We're playing some Legacy. And Blast Zone has proved to be quite the card. Also, us fucking up has also proved to be quite the problem. <laughs> okay, this just dies to fucking Punishing Fire. Yep. Like, if we were drawing to Cataclysm, that'd be okay. But oh, we're not. I, bought, I think I actually should have bought Cataclysm in for these situations. I guess. Danny wins 2794 is showing up. What time is it in Australia, Danny? Go to bed. Go to bed. Maybe they'll double miss clean take eight by accident. Maybe. Maybe we'll draw our walking blister when we get to critical mass of land and kill them with it. But we've also sided that out, so that doesn't seem correct either. <laughs> Okay. Go to Beth. What I'd does piss. Beth mean? It's just a thing that someone mistyped on the Discord, then um, everyone lost their shit over it. Okay. It's it's quite literally that simple. If that makes you feel like an old man not understanding the the the, the draw of a children's card game, Bob. Um, <laughs> yes, me too. Okay, so we're just dead here, right? Pretty much. Like, they're going to waste on our Caracas, and then... Like, if we can, like I said, play a Fire and Ice and equip it before they're punishing fire, but... Which actually Sounds could, like... could happen yeah, here. Do. Well, it could happen if they fuck up, if they play incorrectly. 
So we need to draw Stoneforge, which we've cut one of, or the Fire and Ice. And then have them fuck up their turn. And then us play... Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a... It's, it's unlikely. A, and I need to piss. Hmm. You making piss noises to try to make me need to pee? I put it back in hand. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh dear. Like that fuck up was because you not putting into hand. Oh man, I wish I didn't pump with the Tomic. Well, not the Tomic one, with the needle. That was frustrating. It's nice to lose and know where I lost though. Where sometimes I, I'm playing arena lately, I'm like, I think I died because I drew too many or too few lands. Like that, that's the <laughs> that's the kind of magic I fucking hate. Like, right, I'm gonna take a piss and grab some water. I'm not gonna okay. go to the away screen. Um, unless you do, you want a quick break? No, I'm good. I okay. will entertain. While you can you talk to things. these fucking cunts. These fucking cunts, like. Wait, be right back. All right. Hello, you lovely people who aren't cunts. Hello, hello. Sorry, I always do this thing where I read chat very quietly and then forget I'm actually supposed to be saying things. Well, I didn't like to presume defaultier, but I do apologize. Rob, how long have you been doing the stream events? Um, Pretty much since he started doing it. So, what have we been doing for like a year and a bit, I guess? Um, Originally, yeah, like he just asked me if I wanted to join him on the stream. And then, yeah, next thing you know, I just kept doing it because I got nothing better to do on a Monday night. So, okay. let's come hang out with all you people, which is all good fun. I do like it. So, Rob, you are my favourite. I'm many people's favourites. That's the thing. That's the thing about me and Vince is that we're so opposite. There's something for everyone. You know, if you like the uh, the in your face. Lad, 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 action of Vince. You can have that. And if you prefer something a little bit more sedate, then you've got me. So. You can know if you spent more time in the Discord. Yes, yes, I would. But I don't like spending time in the Discord. There's so much stuff going on and my life is so busy already without the hassle of seeing all those notifications. So I tend to stay out of it. Brit spell favourite so strangely. Um... Well, we like to make the O definitely a soft O and a hard O, so the U is added. Slash French influences, I guess. Rob, what is the best thing happening in your life currently? Um, what is the best thing happening in my life currently? Um, I have acquired... Um, all the dungeon tiles for Castle Ravenloft or Castle Strad for Dungeons and Dragons on Thursday, and I can now actually run it with the full map rather than running the worst worst castle out in the universe um, the old-fashioned way, which is without having a map. So that's quite exciting. Fuck off, default here. How's that for niceness, buddy? <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Rob? I'm doing well, thank you. Right. Are you refreshed? Uh, yeah, I got some water. I had some sriracha, like nachos. That's nice. Oh, very nice. Can we get Vince a birthday story? <coughs> where the bearded leader... Story where the bearded leader had too many drinks. Tell him a story where you got really drunk and shouted at people. Fucking every time, Rob. <clears throat> <laughs> Be more specific. <coughs> so sat Saturday, I went to a, a wedding. Mm -hmm. um, so that was fun. I learned, like I hadn't seen a lot of my co-workers for a long time. Someone I used to work with, my old boss. And there's lots of surprise things, like people have been fired, people had nervous breakdowns, someone else had a terminal illness. There's a lot of um, haymakers, shall we say, as I as wow. I learned things about my, my my colleagues and friends. And then... um. Anyway, so the more lighter part of all that, I got quite drunk. I did some shots and drank a little bit. Got home, stuck a pizza in the oven, as you do. And uh, pizza, Yorkshire puddings, and uh, curly fries. I put it in the oven. 
And the smell of pizza made me so hungry that I wanted to look at another Domino's menu on my laptop. Then before I knew it, you could pay for Domino's via PayPal. So I just fucking ordered Domino's. And then I went upstairs to my wife and told her, I was like, I'm, I'm Steph, I've accidentally ordered some Domino's. And she was like, oh, you. And I think I, I called to her, I climbed on top of her and I farted very loudly. And then went downstairs to get my pizza. Oh, you romantic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, this hand is pretty meh. I'm going to keep it. Like, it's not... It's lands and spells, right? Yeah. But it's, it's one of the like, worst hands we've seen on stream. It's functional. Like, I get to speak mid-range or creature base. This might be fine. Uh, I get to combat. It's bad. Oh, no. You've gone robot again. Oh, no, Rob. Oh, uh, no. Your... You're back. You're back. Okay, we're good. Hmm. All right. Let's be wasteland point for a turn. How do I feel about Mill? Uh, I almost played it this week for the video that I put on, on Saturday, but I ended up playing Soul Sisters instead. Soul Sisters is wicked. Yeah, it's really fun. It did a lot worse than the last time I played it. But then again, I was also like dying on turn three to like combo decks and stuff after the Immortal Five, so you know. Yeah, it's 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 not great in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't beat the fucking nut draws of any of the good decks in the format, so. No. But then again, there aren't many decks that can. It's... Pies 97 and Thalia is good in the matchup. It feels like she should be, but I couldn't really, like... I have no gut feeling or... Yeah, I guess she's good, especially if you start to inch ahead as well. Okay, I think this is Storm. Like, our basic planes go tells them that we're DNT, right? So they're fetching basics. Yeah. Uh, we're going to port them this turn. Our hand is awful against Storm, by the way. That is true. We've got nothing to slow them down, nothing to interact so with them. So we can them. tap black to use the mana, or tap blue to stop them cantripping. I'm going to try and stop them from making mana. Watch them like play a blue, like an underground scene now, and cast two cantrips and sculpt the perfect no. hand. Ugh. Why isn't strip mine legal, god damn it? I think for this very reason. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty good. I played some Australian Highlander this week. The video goes up on the channel. Basic Mountain. What the fuck? Is this Grixis uh, with, like, basics? What? I'm confused. Okay. Colligan's command incoming. Yep. So I might as well play out the fire, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Grixis Blood Moon. Oh, maybe. Back to basics. Someone says sarcastically. Potentially... So I'm saying Phoenix. Okay, I'm going to start tapping this blue source because blue spells are generally more powerful than black and white spells. Generally. Now they go like Dark Ritual, Manamorphose, fucking <laughs> punch me in the arsehole, make me bleed. Also, the problem with Brainstorm being instant speed is they can cast it in response to the, uh, off the mana, so that's uh, a shitter. That is true. Yeah, Chandler will be gas if it sticks unless they untap and make four phoenixes or something. Yeah. So anyway, Austrian Highlander. Yeah, I got to like strip mine lock um, Angus in one game. Got to like do almost. I got to do um, get rock monster plus Stoneforge Mystic. I was, oh, what the fuck? I'm thinking about DNT cards. Um, uh, get on monster plus round up excavator. That was sweet. So when you when you when I wasteland them, I got to draw a card as well. It was. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so they are now. Uh, I won last time. No, but did you cheat? Oh, did I cheat this time? No, I even said in the intro, I've gone out of my way not to cheat this time. Good. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Mm. Let's go. Things If they counter my Wisp, I can't port. So Wisp can on top of land, but if they counter the Wisp, they get all their mana. And they missed the land drop. I'm just going to keep porting them. Yeah. Play the long game against Grixis basic clan stop deck. <laughs> if they are Grixis control, they're going to play Gomag, so tapping the black source seems like the match the more logical thing to do. Uh it's a Delver deck. Okay. Interesting. Well, we can, we can play around days here. That we can. Play around days for days. Take that. I reckon they got back to basics. Okay. So we need to uh, cool it on the uh, non-basic land front. I don't know. Six damage ain't that much, is it? Let's be honest. True. 
in the grand scheme of things, you know. One card, two lightning bolts, yeah. The other thing is that Portland of Black helps against Gurmag. Portland of Blue helps against them just playing a random Trinity Nemesis. But we've got Fire and Ice, so we're all good. Yeah, we'll be fine. And Gurmag Anger is a thing we can't really deal with right now. Well, well we so. can fly over him with the Fire and Ice. I don't think we care much about them playing creatures right now, actually, to be fair. Yeah. And Mega Truth, I'm glad Ape got locked. I'm glad. Well, maybe in that case, we should have tapped down the blue source because it stops them looking for things that they look for. We don't care about the creatures. Yeah, maybe that's correct. Hmm. Fake out. Oh, they have six. So I don't think they have to count magic in their turn. Okay, we got a revoker. Let's make a mischievous factory and attack with it again. Mm -hmm. So do you fake people out in paper magic? Yeah. Sometimes for lols, other times for uh, hoping they'll do something differently. Cracking a fetch or like... The, the, the obvious ones are things like cliques and Another stuff. one. Because people will yeah. clique you in response to a vile activation. Mm -hmm. um, it's just trying to get information out of how they react. Or if they pause for a little while, like thinking on the vile activation and stuff. But it's okay. also dangerous because if you fake out a vile on three... Uh, then sometimes it's better to have... The better fake out in d &T, in my experience, is having a vile on three and not tapping it. Because then people will not will play around a thicker wisp for like till the end of time if they're good. <laughs> so they won't use removal spells and stuff. So I think the better fake out is having a vial untapped on three. Okay. But on lower numbers, or if you've got multiple vials, or if not a lot's happening, I think fake outs are fun for like trying to guess what people have got. I didn't we were talking, so I didn't port them. Doesn't matter though. Well, it does matter actually, because I gotta play Vile Smash and I'll play an actual spell. So that was a mistake. Whoops. Hmm. Vile Smasher. Okay, when they crack this fetch, I'm going to plow it. Yeah, Vile Smash is a thing. Vile Smash is a very cool thing. <laughs> As I, do, I, I blanked that. Jack, Jack I just pointed out, why don't I just fucking Caracas it? I guess I do now, and then they crack their fetch to try and play a brainstorm to get some value. Is that what they do? Nope. Cool. Okay. Um... Sure. Oh, this isn't a surprise, by the way. I did this for the birthday stream. My wife's got me a French fancy with a candle in it. Look, look chat. It's my birthday. I'll keep that yeah, away from this do. microphone thing that might set on fire. We... <laughs> yes, good idea. I'll make a wisp. A wisp? A wish. I said wisp because of wisps in my hand. I'm wishing that we don't get fucking ruined by lands again. Thanks, babe. It's my favourite French fancy as well, I think. I think. What's your favourite colour French fancy, Rob? Pink ones. Which one? Pink one. What's yours, babe? Pink. I think it's pink too. The yellows are good, but the yellows are good, but the pink ones are where it's at. Chat. What are you? What's your favourite um, French fancy? I think we're gonna get a lot of chocolate ones. I bet it's like fucking simpletons. The like chocolate, chocolatey crowd. The chocolate one's a bit of a basic bitch answer, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, I love French fancies. They're one of my favourite cakes. What is a French fancy? Oh my god, Americans don't know what French fancies are. They do not. Wow, unlucky. Okay, so it's a tiny cube of cake covered in pink icing with a little blob of deliciousness on the top. Yeah, it's got like, yeah, like a, it's not, I think it's going to have fresh cream, but what we know them, like Mr. Kipling's like factory made ones don't have fresh cream in, do they? Yes, but yeah, it's supposed to have fresh cream they're, um, they're like all English treats, they're uh, cautiously flavourful, you know, tasty is... in a, oh, I really shouldn't sort of way. That's, yeah, and it's like a cupcake in many ways. But apparently one in a while, which is Tom Whiteman, doesn't know what a fucking French fancy is, which is absurd. I should have ported their del Delta there if I was thinking for a bit longer. Mother of Runes. Now they try and kill my wisp. Oh, they're forcing my mum. Days went to exile. Cool. Okay. I won't be able to plow them this turn. Hmm.
Um, I'm just going to write the name on Lydia on the last type, I guess. If they play a Jace, I'll be kind of sad, but Last Hope kills stuff, Jace doesn't. Last Hope kills all our stuff. Yeah, Last Hope's a pain in the ass. Yeah, French Fantasies are fucking sick. And the thing is, they're, they're, they're cool French Fantasies or Mr. Kipling's, um... What do Mr. Kipling's call them? Is it French Fantasies? I think so. We have to check the box. Yeah, well, they're from Audi, I think. So Because uh, okay. Audi's the best. Anyway, but now we're going to Paris. <laughs> I'm like, I need to have a French fancy while I'm there. If you're going to Paris, you should go to uh, Montmartre. At the bottom of the hill, there is a um, a really nice uh, patisserie that does these amazing macaroons. I highly oh, Steph loves macaroons. Yeah. Why not really Portland? Well. We probably make them think we have more things to play to do at instant speed and hold back on playing stuff, maybe. Or we could um, just port them and stop them from playing stuff anyway. No, I've decided to port to put them out my board and keep up with Plashers plus Caracas. Little is not better than how do you, dude. Shut your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> okay, so they've fetched an upkeep. Yes, yeah, the thing. French fantasies might not even be uh, a British thing. So they're preordaining now. Instead of playing Vast Fight and then playing preordain to get one damage in. Perfect. I, I hear you quietly cutting your things, Rob. It's, it's very quiet, so I'm not, like, complaining. Okay, that's good. Let me know if it's it is not. It's pretty funny. Got... just hearing you. Oh, the good hey. angle that we thought about earlier. That's also fine. Cool. I can deal with that. I'm not going to plow it, though. I'm just going to kill them in the air, I think. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're on 10. We can race it. Although, don't forget about back to basics. A price of progress. But I don't think we're right. necessarily playing it. It's just a, it's just a theory around why all the basics. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my vial up now, because I don't give a fuck. I'm a rebel. Mm. And now they're, de they're dead just to Mishra's factory plus my creatures, right? So playing a sword isn't necessarily what I need to do. But if we don't play a sword... If they have removal, they have removal, and that's that. So. Yeah, if they've got removal... They're going to have a bolt here. Save them. But they'll fire. They'll shoot in response to the sword activate equip. Yeah. Oh, they even have, they don't have bolt or push. Well, they hey. don't have push mana, so that was pretty easy. That was. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I will take it. This is not a matchup that I'm particularly keen on. Mm. Uh, let's bring Gideon. Okay, so they can bring in a lot of nasty. Dread of Night, for example. Yeah, another shit like that. Dread of Night. I'm going to bring so Disenchant, disenchant Council here? Judgment, and a Gideon. Yep. Um, I wonder if we want a one whip against Gurmag and then, like, Snapcaster and or Kess. Um, I think so. Do you think flickering your other wisp so you could make it so you couldn't attack with um, Angler might have been the line? No. Um, in that circumstance, I don't see why stopping their 5 5 from attacking would do anything. Because we were on 20. Yeah, exactly. If we had the monarchy, or we, we were depending upon having the monarchy, then yeah, sure. But So no, I don't think that was relevant, personally. But I could be wrong. Um, And then I don't think Cataclysm is very good here. No, me neither. Like, unless they have Pyromancer and shit like that to go really wide. Um, If they have True Name or Baleful Strix, Palace Jedi gets a lot worse. So I'm not keen on it in this matchup, personally. Yeah, plus they've got Flyers that can get the monarchy back really easily. Oh yeah, we saw Delver, didn't we? We saw Delver, so we did, not necessarily yeah. good to control actually Delver. Yeah. Um, I think I still want all these things. I'm gonna. Ugh, that's a problem. These cards are clunky with Thalia. I like to cut them when I play these, but Thalia is also very, very good against Delver, like insanely good. That is true. I think we just do it and then go easy on the wastelanding, I guess. Tomix good against their if they if they're wastelanding us, but yeah. Well, yeah, trades of the Delver too, to be honest. Yeah, trades of the Delver. Yeah, this makes this much harder. Hmm. What does chat think? I'll try a plow shares because we bring in two council judgments. Okay. And we're cut my revokers for now. Uh, there's a very good chance I got last trip out of the board, but then again, Gideon and just no, actually no, it's only Gideon that deals with it. Hmm. Maybe we're bringing the spyglass over a revoker. We should start bringing this in more in our game two and threes. I think to look at their hands and shit. I think so. Uh, Trimmer Stoneforge. 
trim a wisp. Yeah. Yeah, Tomic has been bad so far because we've misplayed with him. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't really hold that against him. That would not be fair. Another one. Okay. This hand seems good against non wasteland hands from them. So they go turn one delve and we can plow it. Okay, they did not. Okay, cool. We need to draw a third land, like because obviously we could just like fire our spells into uh, into, into um, days, days as well. Come on, Jitte, sure. Maybe it's be a delver with uh, spell pierce back up. Ooh, spell pierce, yeah. There were their crazy basics. So it's so it's, I don't know. It's sort of slightly off-putting, isn't it? They're like, "What are you doing?" I think we get wasteland next turn. Tomic would have made us wasteland proof, I guess, but Thalia is more disruptive. I think we want to be proactive rather than reactive, because yeah, you know, we've got game one. So I was expecting them to have four. So I think I really want these to survive more. Because this can attack over Gurmag and True Name and block Delver. Mathalia's combat stats get a little bit outclassed on the line. So they've not drawn a red source. We're playing two copies of Tomic. Uh, we put played its lands and I fucked up with it. So that wasn't great. Uh, I guess we rest in peace here to strand Gurmag in their hand. Um, Plow shares up. Yeah. Go Mag Stranded, Snack House is made weaker. Kesses, are they playing them? All sorts of nonsense. Are they playing Vile well, Smash? I'm hoping they're playing some other, like, sweet tech. Okay, nothing from them. Okay. 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 Vile. Good. Vile. We like Vile. It's like a Termic Vile. Well, what do we reckon happens? Um, I, I play. We drew Needle to explain the punt. I drew needle, then immediately waste under their blast zone, and then end up naming blast zone with the needle anyway. So what I should have done was name needle with blast zone and waste under their the second red source, so they couldn't uh, recur punishing fire to double punishing fire Tomic. However, they just had two punishing fires in hand anyway, so my punt didn't cost us the game. But if it, if they didn't have two punishing fires in hand, it did cost us the game. Do a play around days. They would have dazed the rip if they got Gurmags in hand. Oh, no, we had a land don't. actually, didn't we? We yeah. had a land, so maybe yeah. I play vile. Keep a plowshares up for a Delver or a Vile Smasher. And play around days. Play around days and play around them getting to play a creature out of sticks. Okay, they not hit a red source. They haven't got anything for Gurmag. Woof! That is not good for them. Chat's gone awfully quiet. How are the fucking um, bingo cards going, kids? That's something I want to know. I don't know if Tomic made it into d and I don't know if he's good enough for that. He makes the board sit very ugly, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a little text. So Panzer's very close. Oh, and Danny's one away from Bingo. Fucking hell, I didn't realise I'd said that much this time around. Jeez. Yes, Dragon, there's, 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 there's stream Bingo going on, and the person who wins it on my Discord gets to uh, choose a deck for it, or give us a list to play next week on Monday. Have they got anything? They got a ponder. Okay. Cool. Well. Ponder, ponder, ponder. So we've got cracks to protect Tomic here. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe I should get some foils just in case they end up being good in this new Cloud Post Khan lock metagame. Hmm. Of which we've not seen a single deck. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe lands has pushed them out. I don't really like playing against lands blaster anymore. That's fucking horrendous. Yeah, that's not. Uh, it's not fun. Delver. Is 
if I daze this, I'm probably not going to pay for it because I don't want them to be able to then push my Tomic. Yeah. Uh, and then I would untap and walk and blister for two and ping the Delver off for one. But it was off, so all that was not really relevant. <laughs> Happy first legal that. drink birthday. No, Tom, I live in the UK where we can drink at more reasonable ages as opposed to 21. It's mad. Absolutely. I'm playing super conservatively, but I think that's okay. I think so, because like they're not playing anything, which which means that they are having to be reactive. So. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to run into anything. Also, if the hand is full of four mana spells, like, for example, Jace, I guess I just make a Thalia here. But they might have a Delusion hand as well. True. I'm just going to get another fucking recruit. I'm going to be really greedy. I've, I've gone from being conservative to, yeah, greed. Greed is good. Why did I get a spam bot telling me to send you stuff? Oh, is this a Twitch message? Or do you... Because apparently Merchant was having this. So I hope we're not having it as well. Is it Twitch messaging you? Someone on Twitch messaging you? Yeah, there's a, it's doing the rounds around the magic community at the moment. Just ignore it, unfortunately. Weird fucking shit. Right, this has uh, turned into a very easy match somehow. Well, I'm happy with that, because that Delver matchup is not brilliant. Uh, a Delver tends to be good, Crooks' control tends to be bad, Crooks' Delver tends to be the like Crooks's, the Delver variant that we can lose to. Especially with the sideboard hit like Divide of Dying and shit as well. Mm -hmm. um, guess I'll just play another Recruiter. Let's, let's, let's get on the bus. Let's go recruiting, kids. Moon Crusader. What don't you say? GTA involves us having cracks down. So if they have end turn, turn kill turn it with removal, plus a wrath effect like a deluge, we're in a shitter. Um, this is the more conservative line of playing around them having like multiple removal spells. We have a Vol on three now, so we could play a little looser, but I don't think we need to. I don't think so. It's, it's not worth tempting fate. And I say they've got something something in hand. So I'm assuming it's like a Jace and some Gromax. That's what I'm assuming is happening here. Like mm -hmm. big mana spells that are they've missed, they haven't got a fourth land and they can't play them through rest in peace. Hi, Beverly Vince, you big beautiful bast beardy bastard. I can't seem to get the stream to work without freezing constantly, so I hope it goes well. Also, chat should go to the LRR nickname subreddit and let them know that the Wanderer is totally 100% Danny DeVito. Yes, we should do a fucking invade, a raid. <laughs> Okay, so I guess now we can just kill them. Feels Two, like three, it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, eleven, six. twelve. No, that's not death. Yeah. That's not a kill uh, with the jet equip. Go to clean up. They're discarding. Or are they killing? They discarded Gurmag Angler. Looks like Rest in Peace is a good magic card. <laughs> Um, to get greedy or to get greedy. Well, their removal's got to all be black, right? <laughs> so, GTA on Mirror and Forever seems absurd. Yeah. They could force this. That Yeah, they got Force Rule in hand, okay. Exiling Dak Faden. Oh, so they've got a lot wow. of red spells in hand as well. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Isn't it as safe to keep recruiting hand and getting the GT on the field? Um, not against removal spells, no. Well, I mean, against deluges, because at least we can rebuild. Yeah, but no, because we can we can wisp our recruiter here. Oh yeah, they might steal your vial of Dak. Yeah, that's true. And then crank it up to eight and get their gun back angler. There's the deluge that we were expecting at some point. So we're gonna put Tarek back in our hand. And then flicker of the mirroring crusader. Well, no. If we just make a and wait, if we make a flicker wisp post, well, no, that bolt, doesn't definitely kill. Yeah. yeah. So we flicker the mirroring crusader. 
But also, if they've not got a bowl, then I want one plus a walking monster kills them. Hmm. Yep, I see what you mean. So they're not going to bolt that fucking recruiter, are they? No. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's t sounds weird, doesn't it? It does a little bit. <laughs> it seems to be counterintuitive, but... But also, recruit gets extra value as well. So, also increase our chance of drawing another land to make our, our walking list even better. Um, let's just get a flick wisp here. There's so a prelate on one would have been pretty good too. That's actually probably the better line. Prelate on one off a vial, hit them for one, kill them with blister. That's much better. They bolt with the mirror and they just died anyway. Oh, to the ballista, of course, because the fetch land. So perhaps actually edging that out was much better. I forgot about that. The life loss from the uh... mm -hmm. flick of the mirror. This is also yeah. bad about this is bad around removal as well, actually. Play around days. Okay, yes, yeah, so actually flicking the mirror was fine because they had to fetch for it. Sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, them not finding a red source and resting. Them fetching badly initially plus a rest in peace fucked them. Weirdly, I guess they fetched a black source to play the go mag and then rest in peace fucked them. <laughs> yes. Good old rest in peace. Yeah. A card that is deceptively good in some of these mid range matchups. Yeah, it's like Thalia in the sense that like, you don't know, you don't really know how good it was. Because yeah, you don't see the things they don't think. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes in Legacy. Sometimes with Dali you get more of a feeling because you're blowing up their lands and porting them as well. <laughs> so then, like, it feels overwhelmingly obvious what's happening. But yeah, it's it's similar when you don't get to fuck with their lands as well. You're not you're never quite sure how good Thalia really is. Yeah. You just don't know unless you ask your opponent. Oh, wait, what was the other win on the stream? Uh, we beat... We beat Storm. Yes, we beat Storm. Although we took a weird Although line. We really didn't look like we were going to at one point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep this for Lander off the back of a Horizon Canopy. If this wasn't a Horizon Canopy, I probably wouldn't do this. Uh, and we've got Thalia into Wasteland, which is obviously very good against certain decks as well. Yeah. Although the Basic Planes Go does tell them that we're DNT, so they'll probably fetch Basics if they know what they're doing. You think so? But maybe Camera Souls great. on. Human, is this the mirror? It's a mish oh, it's bomber man. Okay. So we need to not let them Oryx salvage us. Okay. So, so what they... was Panzer saying about this new bomb? It's just that he can play the new Khan and oh. fetch like loads of cool shit from the sideboard. Okay. Are you really only 21? Yes, definitely. I'm really only 21. <laughs> Should have played one wasteland there. That was fucking stupid. Thalia seems good against Bomberman. She does. That's just revoke her naming Oriok Salvagers and or Lion's Eye Diamond. Yep. Can name Spellbomb as well, then. Uh, yes. To protect our things. So yeah, the version that I played against with Maverick the other day, Panzel was the the one that played a mentor. Yeah, so mentors um, are quite good against DNT. That's just walking ballista against DNT. Oh, mentor, that's quite funny. <laughs> this is a ballista on one. I'd be pretty sad. Walks opal for one mana. Nothing else. Interesting. So now I can wasteland them, and I can also turn off one of their mana rocks. <laughs> this is pretty good. I mean, Mox Opal's not on yet. So that's the thing. Revoker on a mana rock strangles them now, but like Revoker on uh, other key parts, Ballista, LED, and um, Oryx Salvages is good Like if they get out from under the lock. Um, what, are their, what are their outs to getting out from under the lock? Well, Walking Ballista here kills Thalia, doesn't it? Yes. 
They aren't close to salvage. I agree, they aren't remotely close to salvage. But that's the way they win. We can we can do all the damage in the world. I think we have to blind the Ballista because it's just such a fucking beating for our deck. Yep, okay. Because if we don't, they can play a Ballista and kill Thalia, they can play a Ballista and kill Revoker, and so on and so forth. Yep. Yes, well, I actually called Wrath 300. It was my birthday yesterday, my friend. It was my birthday yesterday. Do they have any zero mana rocks they just drew to turn their opal on? And nice they just played out a blister as a blocker. We got to a palace jailer. That would be sweet. That would be very, very good. If they have a blister, they would play it though, so name the top deck. Mm, no, not necessarily. Ah, oh, it's the fucking salvagers. Frustration. They're so far away from... They aren't close to salvages, says Panzer, as they untap and cast salvages. <laughs> Draw plowshares? 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 Flick away. No. Okay. No. Okay. We can jail it next turn, which because I hope they don't do too much damage with it. Thalia still makes it... Uh, they can't go for it due to Thalia. Yeah, I know. I know. Thalia makes it very clunky for them. So, we're in an okay spot. We can't attack, though, because it's a fucking 2-4. It's a very cool card, though. I like salvages. It is very cool. Like it's holding, like, the soldier replica or something, isn't he, from Mirrored and Block. The Yotin to a soldier, yeah. Um, oh, God, Rath, happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. City of Traitors is also very clunky with Alex. They can't be playing a land without losing a land. That's great. Well, they're going to go for it anyway. Okay. No guts, no glory. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Mm. Metamorph main deck in mono red. That sounds sweet. Mm. Can I feed a card? Uh, no way. This draws us a card anyway. Excellent oh, point. they've conceded. <laughs> so I was going to take Eric Salvages, draw a card at a turn. They're going to attack to try and get the monarchy. I was going to throw the Pasha under the bus. Um, and then go from there. But they didn't want to play any more magic, so that's fine. Sweet. So also Spyglass, Needle, Guess. This is the problem with Bomberman. It's very good at, like... The Ballista are so good against us that we don't... Our Graveyard Hate isn't necessarily the best thing. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I mean, it's just... Okay, we use our, use our normal disruption packages yeah. and then just uh, play to beat Ballista. Surely that's, that, that's, surely that's the way to go when it becomes sideboarding. Yeah, yeah. So what we do is we're going to bring in... I'm going to bring in my four... I am going to bring my four so hate, hates for Graveyard, though. I mean, one of them is a body, so that's fine. Uh, this turns off the full combo. Cleric might not be good enough. Of all the... The Graveyard Hate, it's the one that's a body. <laughs> Surely yeah, that we makes can it better. For it, out loud. Yeah, yeah, we can shoot it. That's a very good point. We can shoot it and we can punch them with it. And it carries a sword. Um, cheers for the uh, sub. Darren McGuinness, 1111111111. One, 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 or Darren McGuinness the third, I guess, is probably the... Thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm an iron on path. I'm not sure, Panzer, my friend. I'm really not sure. I think I think it's right to bring it in. Um, we probably want to. So prenate on zero is pretty good. Like early on or late game, we can play it on. Well, that's probably still just zero, right? <laughs> Mirror Crusader <laughs> doesn't do anything because also they got a two four in their deck, which makes yep. <laughs> makes a two two <laughs> double striker a really little bad. bit shit. Um, I wonder if we trim like. A, G a stone forge and one of our equipments. Been a fan since the early days of YouTube, Vince. Glad to finally catch a stream and a hand. Well, welcome and thank you for the sub as well. I really appreciate it. I'm glad. Stick around, watch more videos, and share them with friends and stuff. That's good as well. Um, I wonder if Mother of Runes is bad here because of the walking ballista. Like they're gonna have like white interaction as well. Yeah, and we can't. We, yeah, we, we, yeah, they have white interaction, but most of it is colorless interaction, isn't it? Another Tomix as well. It was like, yeah, you know. Yeah. And trim one Stoneforge. Yeah, yeah, let's give that a go. I'm not sure, but it sounds like I need to get my Bomberman sideboarding plan more 
More down from the sounds of things. Titan Reaver 616. Hey Vince, happy birthday. It's been a while since I could make a stream. Glad to make this one. Hello, Titan Reaver, my friend. It's been a little while since we spoke as well, because I don't think we won the same Spice School last time around. And there's no Spice School this weekend either. I'm um, just gone. I'm trying to have a bit of a vacation. But welcome, my friend. We're playing against Bomb Man. We've got a hand of disenchantment, reflection revokers, lots of plowshares, and a, well, two revokers. This seems pretty good. Yes. This is very good, actually. I'm down. But like a vial. Yes. Fucking baubles and lion's eye diamonds and shit. <laughs> oh, Revoke on LED looks good. Do we disenchant an LED? Yes. Because if they... If they have an Oryx Salvage in hand and a Walking Blister in hand, we just die next turn? Yes, we do. That's a bit shit. So let's not die this next turn. What we're about? It's a two mana spell. We can't do shit. <laughs> we have to uh, <laughs> wait a turn and play with Vocal on LED. So, on or Oryx Salvages. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I think so we, we played the first one on LED. Okay. Yes. So they can't play a salvage off their LEDs. So they now need to go like Soul Land plus Mox Opal to, to play an Oryx Salvages. Okay. There's, a, there's, there's the LED, There's the um, Mox Opal that I just talked about. Uh, oh, God. It's floating. Play another Opal. Walking Blister on one. That's frustrating, but okay. End of turn, we're going to plow it. Perfect. Yep. Pew. We could also disenchant the Mox Opal as a thing. Mm, true. I think we need oh, to do the light of the There are so many things we can do here, and it's all fucking awkward as shit. Okay, so... I think I we guess... need to do the LEDs. Yeah, because if we don't do the LEDs, they can untap, play a land, play salvages, and then go infinite with the LED. Yeah. So we're going to name LED with Revoker. And... Actually, do we name salvages here? No, name Why? LED because... The, the LEDs don't do anything until you've got a salvager. Because they can't cast anything because it bends it, right? So if we don't, if we name LED and they play a Salvagers, they can then go get Walking Blister. I mean, it doesn't mean much because we're going to get to play a Revoker naming sal the next part of the combo before they can get Walking Blister back. They could also just play a Blister here and kill it anyway, but hopefully that doesn't happen. You could do Blister then Salvagers. No, but if they have Salvagers, we're fucked, right? Yeah. This is why I name LED. Actually, no, 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 no. Walking Blister is correct. No, Walking Blister is one of the correct line because. If they go infinite with salvages, it doesn't matter if they can't activate Walking Blister. And then we just ah. disenchant it. Yes. So they make an infinitely it. large Walking Blister, we just blow it up and then name... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. Okay, that's the correct line. Cool, 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 cool. Panzer's on the same thing as well. What kind of deck is the opponent playing anyway? God, Raph, you heard their opponent is playing a version or a new variant of Bomberman. Which is a deck that plays a lot of zero mana artifacts plus Oriok Salvagers to bomb your opponent out. Traditionally, they'd bomb you out with Spell Bomb, Pyrite Spell Bomb. But gone are those days now, because Walking Blister makes every combo deck more boring. <laughs> but yeah. in, defense of, in defense of Walking Blister for this deck in particular, it makes it have a lot easier to actually pull off the combo. Exactly. That is true. That is true. Particularly online. <laughs> The other thing as well is that naming Blister here as PhD or not just pointed out is that if they play the second Blister out of their hand, our first Revoker would have just died and it would have been shit. So, the question is, do we play a, do we play a second Revoker on the same thing? <laughs> what, just double down in case they do have a... A path. If they have a path, for example, or a Pirate Spell Bomb. At the same time, they could have also like EE or Ratchet Bomb as well. Yes, they could. Oh, this is... A, this is this is why I love Legacy so much. Um, I should. Mm. I think we don't because playing Ratchet it plays Ratchet. around path, but not playing it plays around EE and Ratchet Bomb, which are both probably more likely to show up, right? Probably, yeah. Also, if they play Ratchet Bomb, we can get them. <laughs> Even EE actually, if they have enough mana, if they have enough mana or whatever. Man, if I had a shattering spree or somewhere right now. Yeah, if we were playing red. <laughs> if only we played a totally different deck with totally different cards. 
how far into your cutting for D&D have you got? Um, I think I am three quarters of the way there. Does chat know what you're doing? Have you yeah, explained? I told them. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Yes. I've got... Oh, God. Oh, God, no. I'm about halfway through. Okay, now. <laughs> this castle was ridiculous. Actually, Play the Revoker was so bad because we had Vile. Like, it was more of a conversation with that Vile. Vile tells us that we can, in next turn, Vile in response to whatever they cast. So we can get them that way as well. Very true. So you're only halfway through your inverted commas cutting, which makes it sound like you're some sort of self-harming... <laughs> yes, but like... I've only got... I've only done one arm so far. <laughs> <laughs> he just hates D&D that much. I keep telling him not to play, <laughs> chat, but Rob both loves and hates it. Yep. I love the pain. This matchup feels favourable. Like a lot, as, so. as, as difficult as Walking Blessed is as a card and how good it is against DNT, like a lot of the rest of our tech seems to line up quite well. Absolutely. And okay, while they are playing LED, this isn't quite a deck where it makes a massive Walking Ballista before we can do anything about it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like we, we can disrupt them. And really also, well. Thalia, we, we have main board or main deck cards that make their combos more difficult. Yes. Like Thalia makes it so that they can't go infinite, which most decks in the format don't have that sort of thing. Absolutely. Like if you if you compare to say like lands, for example, where you know this just those two just racing to their combo, whoever wins wins. There's not a lot of interaction there. Whereas we are game one, fucking them up. Yeah. And attacking them with two two. Walking blister and a white mana. Khan the great creator. Okay. Well, okay. So they can make the mana next turn. Go get the Magus of Flatters and then cast it. That turns before our lands, but where we can kill the Khan. So. Yep. So this turn, I'm turning off his Lion's Eye Diamonds with my Revoker. Oh, he can do it right now. Let's do it right now. No, he can do it right now. Oh. Oh, we're going to float the mana. We're going to float the mana and blow up Microsoft Flat as a response, and he's going to look like he's got egg on his face. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Wait. Oh, they ticked up. They ticked up. What? what? Loser. Protects from attacks, I guess. The value. Fucking nerd. Also, our thing doesn't work. Yeah, it will do eventually once we kill the Khan. Okay, True. so play the Wasteland. Yes, for the Ancient Tomb. Sacrifice this, blow up this. And now, do we name Lion's Eye Diamond or Khan? Um, I feel like naming Khan is probably the best way to not die. Well, they can make these into zero zeros. Fine. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess what Khan can go and find them like Trinospheres and shit. Yeah, we can name Khan here. Khan can find them EE and Ratchet Bomb and that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, you're right. And now we and if they do do that, we can't. Um, and now we kill Khan, right? Revoker in response. Yeah. Yes. Well, so this means we can kill Khan a lot quicker, and then we can wisp one of our Revokers to turn it back to the other thing once Khan is dead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They have conceded. Sweet. Turns out that Revoker's pretty fucking good against Khan. <laughs> that was yeah, pretty he good. He's not the boogeyman that everyone says he is. So long as you pack your Revokers, you'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. But, I mean, he is pretty fucking good. Like, He's pretty I think fucking... the format's starting to like revolve around him a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I remember the days when DNT, so PhD obnoxious on how great Revokers are as your babies, right? There was a time when you didn't have recruiters, you didn't have Sanctum Crunates, you didn't have Palace Jailers. And so we played like four copies of Frexian Revoker because yep. that's just what you had to do. You had to play a critical mass of the same card. So, um, and just answer all the things. Time. Uh, Destrina, thank you for the sub, my friend. And hello. Hello, four months in a row as well. Default is as your opponent didn't see the LED lattice line, apparently. Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps they're playing safe. We had double white up. Maybe they were playing around Disenchant, which seems a bit fringe, but. Mm. As you can see, that's why, D that's why Disenchant is so good. I'd go as far yes. as to say now that um, Lean and Relic Water, as that's what some people play, isn't worth it now because of Khan. Because you can't vial it in, and you can't yep. blow up a Magus of Flatus at instant speed with it, and therefore, yep. ergo, here, here to thereafter, what are other terms like that? Um, uh, concordantly. Concordantly. Indubitably. And we've got different terms now, whatever. Disenchant is better than Linen and Relic Warder, even though I do like the cat. And Hoogland is my Hoogland's my hero, thank you to Twitch Prime. Five new subs today. Five! 
We're 3-1. We're against someone who's now 1-1. One, one. We've got Tomic. So if this ends up being lands, we go mum into Tomic and to port the shit out of them. That seems fine. Yep. That's the, the mirror. This also seems fine. Yeah. Keep. Tomic does pretty well in the mirror as well. Yeah, he's very good in the mirror. Like, um, well, that said, he's he doesn't help with the like the sub game of who gets Jitte. That's true. But he doesn't die to one whole Jitte swing either, so that's something. That is also true. And also, he flies. So he Baron Moore. Black okay. Cycle Land. So is this. The lands don't play this, so this must be Pox or something? Pox, yeah. There's a second white for the Tomic. Yeah, Pans has come to the same conclusion as well. Mm -hmm. Tega. Oh, no, it's it's lands the Black Splash. Okay, well, that's your Punishing Fire gone. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Pox or Agrolome. Yeah, that makes sense. Shouldn't play my Caracas, but whatever. Ba -ba bum Yeah, how about you try Loaming now, you prick? <laughs> also, their name is great. Justice Peanut. <laughs> they are the world famous, the infamous Justice Peanut. We should turn off fetch lands as well. That'd make Tomic obscenely good, and I'd play it every single day. Thank you, Hoogle is my hero, and I appreciate you, and hope you're having a good birthday too. That's also pretty good against Tomic. That's, uh, oh, yep. Oh my goodness. Thing. And that meant, because of Tomic, we didn't play Factory last turn, which I would have done if it wasn't for that. Yeah, my now Factory is slow. And now we can't kill Liliana with it. Yes. Okay, that's pretty good. Factory Stoneforge? Yeah. Thank you for the birthday wishes, my friends. And we're going to get Baraskal, I guess. Incoming him, yeah, I bet. We haven't been him yet. It wouldn't be a pleasant Kenobi yeah. legacy stream playing Mono White without uh... oh, our good old friend, him to Torok. Yeah. Pick the two cards you would most like to see in the grave. And place them in the graveyard. Exactly. Him to Torok, two seeds of evil. <laughs> My favourite talk is probably Rage Wars because it's doing an impression of um, Quake 3. It was a shit Quake 3, though, let's be honest. They have ditched Charles of the Void. Okay. Dark Confidant. That protects their Lily from the, the Mistress Factory attacking, so that's something, I guess. True. Okay, so we can play Mum and make a Battle Skull. This seems good. Yeah, that seems right, doesn't it? Yeah. This also so, helps play around pox. Well, it's, it's this down takes and stuff as well. Yeah. Ritual Inquisition of Kozilek into him is my favourite term on magic. Does this make me a bad person? Yes. Yes, it does. They have a real Caracas. I think Thoughts is in the, into the hymns better though, right? Because you can hit more cards that way. Does that make sense? I don't know. You do, yeah. You also know what the opponents are as well, so you can laugh at them. Down ticking. Okay, so we're going to make a... Make a battle skull. And then sacrifice the Stoneforge. Yep, and if they pox us, which they're not going to, they're low, not pox, but if they do, we've got factory as well. Yeah. Oh, wait, is there an argument to say maybe... Do the mum and then flick of the um, stoneforge. Uh, no, because mum. If they play another Liliana now, we can sack on factory and we can kill Liliana through the battle skull. Okay. With, thanks to the mum. But we can't do that if we don't have mum. Right. We can, but we have to use our wisp and dark confidant. So basically, I'm suspecting a second Lily here because of the, the move down tech. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Panzer thinks the same. I just got a knight, okay, sure. How big's the knight? A 3 3. Pathetic. <laughs> God, I don't have a basketball in play in ages. So now we know it's a knight, I would 100% wish we kept the stone forge but, and got rid of the <laughs> factory instead. Actually, maybe getting rid of the factory was full stop just the best option, knowing we had a wisp in hand. Oh, that puts the punishing file back in their hand if they actually had the mana, which they don't. So I'm going to port their red source. I'm also going to make a wisp. 
Victoring. Just the planes. And then we're going to port the red source, which means they might punch you via the wisp, which then we've got to decide whether we want to use our mum or not. Yep. Every real dark confidant. They're now going to sack their Tago with the knight? No, they're not. They're going to pass the turn. Cool. Gonna sack their Tago. Gonna get a mm, land that deals with these things. Well, I'm assuming this is for like a, like a permanent. Not, because if they had P punishing fire in hand, they would have just fired. Well, no, they wouldn't have fired off. It's got mum up. Instead, two. So I don't think I don't think they got two removal spells. They have got a dark confidant, on three other cards, and one of them is not a removal spell. They want that knight to be as big as possible to be able to block this journey. They might get a maze of it with it turn after perhaps as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the birthday wishes, my friends. Another knight. I guess we just equip the germ to uh, the flicker wisp with the battle skull will just smash them to death that way. Yes, I think that's probably going to be the best option. They're going to go ground. We should go sky. Mum again. Um, so we go mum. Wisp out their knight. Hit them for four. And then next turn equip. Battle skull to a wisp and just go to town that way. Is that the correct thing to do? Yes. If we go wisp, wisp out their knight, activate the um, land, swing with everything. I put them to six. The factory the will die to that is. confidant. Mm. Which means that we can't equip a wisp with our battle skull. Okay. Oh, yeah, because equipping battle skulls is like five, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, okay. do we want to get a mum down now? Because a mum seems mum seems to be the way that we beat we beat the battle I'll beat the knight, sorry. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Okay. Figure out the knight. Make. Give the germ protection from No, me. I think I'm okay with them blocking it, though. Like, taking away the card advantage, right? True, but they are on very low life total. Yeah, maybe. So you could lift it, hit them down to um, five or six, and then... But then also, if they untap and have removal, then we start to like lose stuff. That's true. This way we've got ways to play on Liliana, we've got counting a removal spell. Uh... Also, yeah, they are dead to flyers next turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, they're not. If they get maze, then we can't port the maze plus equip. Mm. Well, we can just give the germ pro green and split with everything. That's also lethal. Yep. Blast zone. Kill our mother of runes. Interesting. So goodbye, mum. Just give this protection from black. Yeah, just in case. Okay. They attack. They do not attack. We just hope they don't have a push for the. Hmm. Fuck, Ooh, I hate Blast Zone. Either. Yeah, it's pretty good against DNT. <clears throat> I just go for it, right? Like, if they have push, they have push. Yep, let's go for it. <laughs> they have decay. Okay, they want decay. If they kill it though, my Batascoff stays on my German, we get to swing for seven. So that seems pretty strong. Yes. Okay. So 
That worked out okay. Another one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, as trades go, it's the worst. Well, I mean, we're on how much now? Like 32 life? Yep. And they got two nine knights. God, knights are so big. Big so and big. strong and scary. But we have ways around it. I mean, next turn, we can port their maze before combat. Just swing with the factory, the wisp, and the battle skull. They just die. <laughs> they can play a bob, though. They've got a bob in hand, haven't they? Also, they yep. can't go get maze in the current lands because they've got a plains or a forest in play. So they've kind of dug themselves into a hole. Oh, there's the maze. Out of the hand. Fresh as a daisy. Yep. And they scoop it up. Cool. Good. That was good. I enjoyed that. that. I enjoyed should... dunking on someone. Right. Yes. So should they have gone for fetching the maze earlier? Not That's... with the port in play, I don't think. Like, if we just ported correctly, it fucked them. Right. Right. Loam deck. Surgicals, needles, sort of spyglass. Mm -hmm. Uh, an extra path to exile. Maybe a council's judgment to make our removal a little more versatile to hit sylvan libraries and such. Uh, remorseful clerics of that can help with the knights and rip. Uh, we don't want cataclysm, I don't think, because it, it leaves them with one huge knight. Yeah, which uh, we. Keen's good against Liliana. Hmm. Okay. So, walking ballista. Yeah. They're a chalice deck, so they don't play it like dorks. The chalice version of Lone, because we saw a chalice go to the bit of Liliana, so we did, yeah. Walking Bliss is a bit shit. It does kill Bobs, though. Tomix is great. Thalia's are okay. Trim 2, Trim a Stoneforge, Punishing Fire, so Fire Nice is good. Chite's good against creatures. Battle Skull, Palace Jailer. There are chalice decks, maybe I trim a Vile, because it's bad in the long game as well. Yeah, that's a good thought. Trim a mum. Mum. No, mum's too good in this matchup. Way mum's too way good. too good. Yeah. Whisper's too good. Mirren is too good. Prelate's a bit mad. It's good against Loma and Punishing Fire, but... It is, and we know they've got it, it's so... Good. It's good, it's good, it's good. So, trim a Wisp. Looks like it. We're on the draw, so I'm going to trim a Thalia. On the play, I might bring more Thalia's back in. Yeah. And like trim a Wisp is fine, because we've got the other flyer in the Muscle Cleric, so... Yeah, yeah, we've got flyers, two Tomics. That's the thing, actually. I've, I've been hard on Tomic, but actually getting a flying body into the deck when we're, is pretty good. Uh, we have to go turn one vial, Richard and Port. Mm, they've been good already. I'm on the draw. We have no threat, but we have removal and Richard and Port and, and the vial. I think this is good enough, but... It's okay. It's very slow, and it has it no slow, pressure. We're time. We, we, on the, we can draw a card, and we can deal with their stuff. If they go land Mox Diamond Charles and one, then we don't get our vials, then we're on a six card hand. Um if they have port or wasteland I guess we play our, our port later, so we don't there's wait okay. Turn one wasteland go. Interesting. <laughs> Not what I expected. No, nope, but we'll take it. Play our planes and that's the turn. And we thought, of course. So we can needle both Knight and we can needle Lidiana. Yes, we can. We can also need it with, like Cabal Pits or Barbarian Ring as well. If, yeah, it goes that long. I mean, I think given that we've got the Council's Judgment, um, Needle on. Um, well, an uncontested Liliana is fucking impossible to deal with, right? I think I just Wasteland them here. Yeah. Wasteland them off green, because their hand's terrible. Yep. As long as they haven't got like naturalized. Oh, they scooped to that. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it, L. <laughs> the most strongest wasteland in all of magic. Perhaps wasteland shouldn't be in modern. <laughs> 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 fuck it, L. I love that card so much. I just want to play my favorite cards in modern, you know. Ah, well, there we go. We went went 4-1, and the lands match up. They had pretty strong draws. We didn't draw Tomix. We also fucked up to open the chests, says Patters. Open the chests. How many have I got in the collection? I've got 20 well, it's chests. It's your birthday. Today. Time to open those presents. And we could get Japanese Planeswalkers. Not that they're worth anything online, but they're kind of cool. They are kind of cool. Oh, go on then. We'll open eight. I'll keep the others. I'm not okay. opening all 20. No fucking way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open four to start with. 
and we'll see how we go. Yeah, if we open at least one, like, five ticket card, I'll open another four. Okay, deal. 221... T- oh, 22 ticks. That makes more sense. Okay, let's get fucking empty duo price wiki up. Seth with open the wall. I'm not Seth. I have a better beard. And I can pronounce words. And you have worse uh, results. Whoa! That's harsh, Rob. <laughs> That's harsh. Is Ash Brown still worth something? I don't know. Zero point three nine. Perfect. I mean, I can't remember the last time we opened chests on, on stream. It's been a long time. It has. This wisp win has been a long time coming. Well, no, as you can see, I've won recently. Like, yeah. I actually it's... also cracked the chests I had in my collection because the other day I didn't have any tickets, and I've geo tickets are sometimes out of tickets. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> well, maybe I'll open play points, and I cracked them. I didn't open enough play points, had to buy tickets from a different bot. <laughs> It was fucking oh, embarrassing. Okay. So I'm glad that was that was bad. So yeah, I don't know. Playing Legacy, we'll get more fucking uh, chests. So that's, we have to play, I can either play dodgy brews on modern. That's where I think yeah. the problem is. That's true. Uh, right. Okay. Let's another one. Chest. Um, oh, I love that card. It's like one of my favourite planeswalkers. Oh yeah, Venza. Rip. Venza. Can we get some Fs in the chat for Venza? Bless his <laughs> so he's gone, but not nothing, right? Yeah, zero point three six two. Is Visions of Beyond? Is that spiking because someone's playing, winning with Mill? I assume not. Oh, that's almost a ticket. Almost a ticket. Cool. Right. So far, so very bad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Carplusin Yeti. Wow. Whiteboarded, no less. So a 3-3 three, three for 5 mana that can tap to fight something. Huh. I'm not going to check its price. I have a funny feeling I have... I could rough guesstimate that it's somewhere... Between nasty. fuck and all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a shame. It's one of your favourites, Rob. Yeah, Helm Keldra. So I think you and Toma are secretly the same person. <laughs> you're into some of the same weird shit, Commander. <laughs> First Strike Trample and Haste is pretty good. And only, it's only five mana total to get onto something. So it's actually not a bad artifact on its own, really. It's not too bad. It's better when you've got all the gear. Have I ever seen Rob and Toma in the same room, Master Rami? No, my friend, I haven't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Conspiracy confirmed. It's the only reason why I still like Toma, because I, I secretly think he's Rob. That's the only hope I've got. <laughs> well, I'm not looking at the price on either of those cards. No, none of, that, none of those two cards. Any... It's not gambling, honest, says the bishop to the to the pope. Okay, cool. Ye... Sprouting Phytohydra. Wow, what? So I could ping that over and over to make a lot of zero twos. We already have a deck that does that, and it's got way it's way better because it's got bees in it. That's true. These are the worst chests of all time, says Panzer. I mean, True Believer's kind of cool. Like, I had them in a folder for a little while for d and I don't know where it went. To put the mini cube. I don't know. Burnt Force used to be one of those powerful creatures in all of magic. Yes, it did. These chests have been dog shit. I thought chest EV was up. <laughs> Not yours. Mass Hysteria. <laughs> Pretty cool card. Wasn't Thorn of the Black Rose that one of the Black Rose is worth stuff because people play important. And there's some of that were like only available in chests again now, so that yeah, that's eight that's seven dollars. Bloody hell. Seven tickets. It's almost worth it for the cards I opened. Uh is your friend an escape from Tarkov content creator? He sounds a lot like a YouTuber named Samosh. Do you know what Escape from Tarkov is, Rob? I have no idea. No. More chests for the chest god. Ooh! Hello. That's a Mythic Edition Ugin. Is it Spirit Dragon? Yes. It's not worth anything. Oh, there's a promo, wasn't there? Yay, Magic Online promo. Did I play it in one tick? (laughs) Yes, but I'm wondering if people are mad keen for this particular version. Ah, that is a cool version. It's not even on the price wiki. 
Interesting. Ooh, it's so new. Try goldfish. Yes. The myth edition might be like one or two ticks. Let's have a look. MTG goldfish. Ugin. The comma, the spirit. Dark. It's whether you can sell the fucking thing as well, that's the thing. Yeah. In paper, $240. Online, no price. Oh. <laughs> Let's check Sakama quickly as well, and then I might go to a bot and find out how much that one was. Oh, Sakama Primal. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Of course, it is. there's no other fucking Sakama in Magic Vince. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. 0 0.15. Whoop! <laughs> I might legitimately have the only copy. Well, I'm going to tweet it out in a minute and I'm going to offer someone all their shiny pogs for it. <laughs> there we go. We'll tweet that in a minute. Okay, let's open another chest. Triskelion. Well, hey. And 25 play points. I see people open like fucking whole sets and shit. I know, well, I guess I don't. I normally sell my chests. Uh, and I haven't won any in ages, so I can't really complain. <laughs> I guess if you open a lot of chests, you might get the... How you the fuck is the spell? Trisk? Elian. There we go. What's that? Wait, was it in Mirrodin block? I didn't know that. Yes, it was. Another one. Yeah, 0 0.02. I think I put it in one tick. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay. An executable tide, 25 play points. I guess the play oh. points are adding up. That'll be good. It's coming soon. Maybe play, play a spell proliferate. You reckon that'll be good? Seems pretty good in Commander. No, in, in executable tide isn't that, Rob. It's in your upkeep proliferate. Oh, is it? Oh. If it's whenever you play a spell, it'd be like obscenely good in Commander. Or like an, a body that can't be killed. Bright Flame, Radiance. It deals X damage to a creature and each other creature that shares a color with it. You gain life equal to the damage that this way. It's only, Rob, for the low, low cost of X, two red and two white, Rob. So to do one damage to multiple green creatures such as bees, it costs you the low, low cost of five mana at sorcery speed, Rob. How do you feel? Uh, not great. No? Not great at all. What if I told you, Rob? What if mm -hmm. I told you you could have all of that for the low, low cost of... Hang on. The low, low cost of 0 0.01 tickets, Rob. <laughs> and you well, know what? I'll like throw that. in a paper copy for 60 cents. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bargain at half the price. Trample doesn't untap. Untap it. Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay, keep going. It can only get better. Things can only get better. Apart from they didn't. Apart from it, didn't Lantern Scout seen a bit of modern play, right? Uh, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, like ages ago. Wow, that's also zero point zero one tickets. Oath of Liliana, come on, Commander players, online somehow. No, not Oath of Lily Bob. Jesus Christ, what was that? Okay, moving on. A Black Stompy will definitely make a return to the channel, especially now that um, Khan, the great creator, gives it an actual win condition. Uh, once upon a time, that would have been worth money. Let's check these, though. Mm. Yep. Mute Vault is... It's the it's the morning tide printing. Almost two tickets. Get in my cool. belly. And Torpor Orb could randomly be worth money. I don't think it is. One ticket. Uh. Gideon Chad. I mean, Gideon Champion of Justice. Oh, can we get some worst. more Fs in chat? Have you noticed I can only open Planeswalkers that have died? <laughs> so, our fucking Venser died. Ugin died but got better. And Gideon's also <laughs> dead. Can we get like an Elspeth in here? Lion's Eye Diamond. I mean, that's a... Th like, what? How much is that in paper? 300? That is a very, very expensive card. Another maybe. one. Promo Magic Online, two dollars and twenty four cents. Tamio's journal. I played in one tick as well, so that can't be another much. one. Tamio's 
Journal. Yeah, shit me. It's one micro. Anything over 2.5 is good. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Let's open these to, to prolong this opening experience. Yeah. What's in here? A signal pest. What's in here? Ash Barons. What's in here? Oh, that's why Ash Barons aren't worth anything anymore for them in those packs. Look, I'm sure in standard that card was like a $15 card. Because it was in standard a long time. It's at the same time as like um, Cryptic and shit. It used to be, yeah. So whenever yeah, I see yeah. it, I always remember back to you telling me, oh, you've opened one of those. It's worth something. Another yeah, one. Like, oh, now the Cryptic Command's not in the format. Ghost it's Fireblade! Oh, what a card. Put that in Norin. Let me put Norin. Oh, no, it's Champion's Blade. Wait, so Hero's it's Blade. not even good enough for Norin. Not even good enough. Sorin's Vengeance! That card's cool. Go 10, gain 10. Cherish these last moments. Though your, through your miserable life has come to nothing. Though your miserable life has come to nothing, I've given it a magnificent end. All right, Sorin, you bell end. Do you know what? I think the payoff of Sorin, like, being trapped in rock and then, oh, I'm better now, and, oh, we're fighting, but not really. Let's go and help out everyone else in the area. We're friends now. Hold hands. I think that was one of the weakest payoffs we got in Water Spark. As much as I is enjoyed that, Water Spark. Is that Spark what happened in the book? They, like... Oh, do you not know what happened? So in the book, Rob, uh, at one point, Gideon is flying on the back of Pegasus towards uh, Nick of as he's ascended. And yeah. it just references that he can see uh, Sorin. No, I think it's first of all Taylor that sees them. And it's like, oh, I've heard of Sorin Markov. He's that vampire. And he seems to be fighting someone else with white hair on that statue. And that's it. It's like a, it's like it's reference to something that someone sees from a distance, right? Right. Then later on, it's like from Gideon's perspective, it's like, it looks like, and he's like, he sees them. And in Gideon's like own internal monologue, he says, oh, it looks like they put their differences to bed as they're helping to fight people. And it references like Sorin um, stabbing someone and like Nahiri turning some, oh, sharding some people with stone. And then it moves on again. So they get all of oh, about four or five sentences to resolve the entirety of that open ended revenge narrative. Um, thousands of year old. Yeah. End. It's that that is literally, and I'm getting this all from Perfect Rex. We're chatting a lot about it. Um, but I'm actually taking the. I'm going to read the book on the plane tomorrow a little bit, and maybe like in the evenings before I go to bed and stuff a bit. When I'm, when I'm in France, but I'm going to read mm. a bit more of it and actually talk about it on the channel uh, next week, hopefully. Um, cool. But yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Who won? Uh, no, so Nero Harry kind of won, and Soren got better, and then they he's a vampire. <laughs> they fought a little bit, and then just number eighteen. Oh, is this the next Lion's Eye Diamond one? Is it a card that everyone thinks is trash? People are tearing it up, stick out the bum holes and all that sort of stuff right now. And then fast forward 10 years, it's broken as fuck. No. They don't design cards like that anymore. Like, this is part of the new design where that's not going to... I don't know. I think Mox Opal could become that in the future. That is a mythic and it's different, I guess, to that fucking thing. Oh, I really like this card. Like, it's just cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. A drop of blood spilled from the first dragon. Didn't bit... you play that against me in a chaos draft? I don't think I did. I don't think I've ever cast this card. I just remember I, I opened them around that time of Conflux, whatever that says. Mm. Control black permanent if you do, but don't keep if you control green. But it's just a small little like Jandy Uzi boy. Yep. Shit, is that the one drop that Ooze Tribal needs to really get there? <laughs> Not for splashing red. Palace Sentinels. Ooh. Is that the that that it could be worth something? What version? The chest version. Three tickets. Yeah, that was a good booster. Right. <laughs> okay. John the Sticky Boys Rat Racer. That's what the deck would be called. Last one. Come on. Oh, Audric. No. Oh. Fucking George Clooney with his glow in the dark sword. <laughs> Frodo, beware! Orcs are here. That's not what anyone says. If anything, that'll be Frodo saying that because he's not like he's given the blade, right? Yep. Oh, but twenty play points is okay. That's like better than the average chest as we saw. Well, that's all my chests, dickheads. I hope you're happy. There you go. There's your birthday presents. Hope you're happy. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Gandalf's blade glows too. Does it? Does Gandalf's blade do the same thing? It does, does he? indeed. But not for the same reasons, all, though, right? All the ancient blades do. 
What, they glow when orcs are near? Yep. It's part of the enchantment. Oh. As explained I've... in The Hobbit. Oh, I haven't read or, or watched The Hobbit, to be fair. I've watched the first one and I was like, this is so farcically dumb. And the CGI is it's just, it's just egregious. It's just so much like fucking... They all just... It seems like it's like it's grounded and then whenever they get to a combat section, it turns into a video game. <laughs> it's, it's like a video game, right? Like, in the Uncharted series, if someone gets shot in a cutscene, it means they're injured and going to die or could die, right? Yeah. But then Drake gets fucking shot like a hundred times during gameplay, every fucking <laughs> level. I mean, Uncharted's maybe a bad example because they claim, like, what well, a developer went on record, didn't they? One of the guys from Naughty Dog saying, um, your life in Uncharted is meant to represent how lucky Drake is. And when you die, it's your luck running out. Right. Which is a cool idea of how conceptually you can get shot at a lot and not die. Because obviously Drake doesn't, yeah. you don't see him get bloody. But other games where, like, you know, they, they get shot and there's blood coming out of them. But then in the cutscene, if they get shot once, like, oh no! Yeah. Just some birthday bits. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks, Titan, my friend. Aww. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed us uh, smashing the stream. I would play more if it weren't for the fact that I need to get up and go to the airport in the morning. I've still got to upload the stream VOD and put it up ready for Wednesday. I've got videos coming on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday's a replay of this, but whatever. So I'm not even lapsing on my duties, boys and girls. I'm not even lapsing on my duties. So. That's what we pay you for. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> No, just well, Elvis that's, what, that's what other people pay you for, I don't pay you. But. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to bed yet, I've got other fucking maintenance shit to do. Other maintenance shit to do. Not every ancient sword. Look, some people are saying, so Rob, kind of Brian Another is saying one. that Elvish blades glow. That's what I said. No, he, no he's saying no, not, no, just Elvish ones. You said ancient ones. I said ancient Elvish swords do. Oh! What, what about new Elvish swords? Like the, um, new, like the new wave of... What's the place where the elves live? Well, the um, uh, what's his chops? Uh, Legolas gets no, no, he gets a bow from um, Galadriel, doesn't he? Um, yeah, is, I mean... is Galadriel Kate Blanchett's character? Yes. Because when I rewatched the the Fellowship and Two Towers recently, I didn't actually get around to rewatching Return of the King yet. She seems so evil. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's what she's supposed to. Is she? Yeah. When do we find out she's evil? Did we find out that in Return of the King? No, yeah, when no, when when they meet her and she's like, if you give me the ring, I'll basically turn super evil, kill you all. Or, and, oh, and, but like, she's and, not evil as long as you keep the ring off her, right? Like every other. Yeah, war, but, but and... she's but she's yeah, but she's she's tempted. She's powerful. She Another has the ability one. to just you know, if she wanted to, she could just like. Because I just don't. I, I just remember her being on the good guys team, and then when I rewatched it recently, I was like, wow, she's coded to be a complete bitch, or at least it feels that way. And I wasn't yeah, sure just, if I was just reading it. It's oh yeah, sort of like it's the the elvish like be like alienness to humans, like you know sort of like being above and beyond everything yeah, else. Okay, so yeah, so timeless. There's, there's some dialogue but, isn't there? Where they're talking about like how how old she is and shit. Yeah, exactly, and like how how little other people's lives matter. The like arsehole. Ah, uh, okay. Merkwood. Uh, there you just... go. The new wave of elvish Merkwood metal. I'm trying to make a reference about there's a, there's a genre of music called the new wave of British metal. Well, the British right. new wave of metal, and there's the the wave of American metal as well, or the new wave of American metal. I was trying to make a, a metal genre joke. Oh, I see. A incoming warning, run, run. Why has he been here already? The fuckers. Okay, so did anyone win the fucking before we bingo? Get yes. Up? How do we do with the bingo cards? Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Question mark. At here, yeah. did anyone win? If not, we'll just roll over to next week. She's like OG Nissa. Oh, you mean like racist, like fucking uh, eco terrorist Nissa? No, she's not like that. Like, no, she yeah, she she helps them. Yeah, she, she helps them. Helps them. Yeah, because she she knows that the the ring is the danger. Like, you know, but she's not like she's not going to put her elves at risk. I don't think I've seen Return of the King all the way through. You know what? I'm sure I I feel like I have. I can't hear what happens in the middle of it. They just, go, they just go to Mordor and fight, right? Just a big old fight? Yeah. yeah. But, like, is basically. there only side bits? Like, I can tell you about, like, Two Tower. Oh, wow, I watched it recently. So that's yeah, so they go to... Um, they they um, they rally the... Uh, yes, so... so um, uh, Pippin um, looks in the all-seeing eye thing. They get tipped off that he's going for Minas Tirith. So then Pippin and Gandalf go to Minas Tirith. And then the rest of the fellowship that are in Rohan hang out with... Um, 
the king and rally all the knights and horsemen. And then Pippin lights the, the, the bonfire. And then Faramir tries to this take is, back... This is all in um, Return of the King? Yeah. Faramir tries to take back um, the garrison town and gets killed. Or thought, thinks he gets killed. And then the orcs attacks Minas Tirith. Rohan Wait, turns... There's, there's another Hobbit fake-out. Because they have that in two towers, don't they? Yes. That's lame. I don't remember then, any of this. I mean, maybe I saw it when it first came out on that pirate copy. Because I'm fun fact, I watched the Two Towers on pirate as we all did back then, right? Like everyone was watching pirate DVDs at that point in time. Anyway, yeah. and I was watching it on pirate DVD uh, while the film was still in the cinemas because I didn't get to the cinema much. My parents were very poor, and um, the film cut out as the Ents stormed Isen. Is it Isengard? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's not the end of the movie. Where's the rest of the whole section missing that I didn't see for like another six months till it came out on DVD properly? I was so (laughs) mad because I'd sat down for like an hour and 40 minutes at that point or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Lord of the Rings is not a movie you want the ending to cut out and disappear and you're not going to see for a little while, you know? Mm -hmm. So apparently um, they're trying to get me to mute you so Paz wins the bingo. Because apparently having you muted at some point was how they would win. Oh, yeah, I was muted. No, you weren't. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I haven't muted all the... Uh, no. You haven't muted at all. No, I haven't. I mean, we do some weird shit now to say that helps bingering. Bing, bingering? Bingoing? Bing, bingering? Like, full face bingoing. cam? There's that. I don't know if that's one. Uh, we can go to the away screen, but I'm walking over it. So the away screen. Hidden Stone Falls Mystic, Mystic Band in. Talking over it. Rob Sarah. Hello. There you go. Was that... we're talking over it. Was that on <laughs> the fucking bingo squares, you fuckers? If you're muted, people... Mute, multiple oh if you get muted multiple people win oh okay i'm not well, going for no fuck I'm that not, this... I, I know it now so it, it, i feel i'll rob you of your true victory if uh, if i do so. rob's not really into robin get it i just yeah i'm not going for mutual shit attraction that's not happening right let's see if we can raid let's see if we can okay. raid. it's been a fun stream yes. very relaxed it's nice to play a game a deck that like i actually know about so we can actually win some games I mean, punishing okay. people really fucking hard as well. People just had bad draws, and then we just wasteland and thigh them out of games. So that was pretty sick. Fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I really like that. I really like DT because I I feel like I feel like more knowledgeable about it, so I feel like I can contribute more to decision um, trees. And check out this preview screen, look, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even look like I'm playing Magic. Right? Who can Fantastic. we? Who can we raid? Someone's playing Modern Storm, so I shouldn't reward that nonsense. <laughs> How far are you and you're cutting? Oh, getting there. What am I up to? Um, oh, no. Oh, I don't even know which one. Oh, oh, no. What have you done? What have you done? I've I've not labelled my room. No, I can't remember. Oh, no. What if you've cut the wrong room in half? K42. I'm at K42. So I'm on the second floor. Someone's playing Modern yes. Rising Taxes, but I don't know if they're an asshole or not. It's a risk. Don't do it to people who don't know. We've already run that risk before. Okay. Another we could, one. We could, we could throwing viewers to Seth seems unnecessary. There's. But we like Seth. And people we like do. his content. Yeah, we do. I love Seth. But he's got loads of viewers. Another already. one. You know, I want to share the love downwards a little bit. Okay. Ah, uh, but I don't know any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, Semulin's cool. And Jamie Toppers is cool. Okay, let's have one of those people. All right. Right, it's been a fucking sick stream. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs and the bits of the birthday cheer. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I will be back on Monday with another stream. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to get to pick the deck because people have not won the the bingo. What's a better way to support you? Twitch subscriptions or become a Patreon? Patreon is the best way to do it because Patreon also renews for you as well. So you can keep giving me money. But also there's a Discord that you can get involved with as well where we have um, competitions of fuckabouts and I'm, I'm quite active everyone there as well. And you the bingo. The yeah, exactly. It's two bucks a month. So it's actually cheaper than dis- um, Patreon as subbing on Twitch. But I also get more of a percentage of this Patreon money where Twitch like, take like, over half of it. Or half of it so... Right, uh, yeah, back on next Monday. We'll be streaming probably some more Legacy, I'd imagine. We'll see how we feel close to the time. I've got mm-hmm. more content coming this week. I've got Australian Highlander. I've got talking about which Ward of the Spark cards you're going to die to in Eternal Formats. Spoilers, Khan gets mentioned. Um, <laughs> and there'll be this stream video up on Wednesday as well. And then there'll be more content on the following. Uh, so next week's my time away. So if you're expecting to see a big gameplay video from me, there won't be one because I'm away in France with my wife for my birthday. Things are time away. 
and then we're back streaming. And then I was going to say to you, Rob, we need to do some more uh, Commander. Uh, yes. Uh, after this week, we'll get together and play some more Commander on Modo, whether we do Uncommon or One Tick or just slightly powered up or whatever. We'll talk about that. Same right. Me. Let's go ahead and raid. Let's do uh, it. Let's go ahead and raid. Cool. Don't forget your toots, ladies Oh, yes, of course. If we're raiding, don't forget to toot toot. We're raiding a fellow... Another one. A fellow Channel Fireball-sponsored person who's drafting on Modo. I know that sounds crazy, but some people like to draft with actual human beings and actually play the real draft format, not some sort of approximation via robots, you know? Yeah. Right. Hey, sometimes you want a nice pack two bomb in a in a color that isn't your. Yeah, yeah. Or like, apparently, like mid range is the only format, like all you can play in the arena drafts, because that's what like the, the game like tries to push you towards and shit. Apparently, apparently. Oh, we didn't even get to a hundred raiders, guys. Oh come on. I think I think it's mobile. Yeah. I think it's mobile that does that. Like when you have like fifty to hundred people watching on mobile, and don't get there. Right. It's been fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Keep supporting. And Rob, thank you for being on as well. Thank you very much, and thank you to everybody for coming along. We'll see you next week. All right. So long. Bye-bye. Bye. I was about to hit end stream to raid first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're muted.